Okay, so quick rules for the stream. Um, table We're short of person. Yeah, I know. I know Lexi's not here yet. No. Um, is she in the house? Is she getting ready? Or yeah, she she's on? getting ready. Okay, just want to double check. Um, so just mind your P's and Q's. Um, no overtly racist stuff, please. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to, but uh, this is... Are, are we talking in-character racist or out, char- out of character? Out character racist. In-character racism against elves because of those fucking you are, ears. You are a fucking um, drow. If you're not racist, hey, I'm disowning you as a friend. I will throw down with you, you fucking dandelion. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> we can all agree we hate the kobolds. <laughs> Yes, that's something we can all yes. agree. On. We'll take the and we'll gnomes. take the dwarves, the gnomes, but you keep the kobolds. <laughs> but we don't want the kobolds. Um, but they're like little dragon. Puppies. Table table talk is going to be a thing. Um, I don't mind jokes and stuff like that. Uh, we just need to be careful of talking over each other um, and taking up way too much time um, because we do only have two hours with which to go through all of this stuff. Um, so I do request that, um, you guys, if, if there is, I'm not going to discourage any type of role playing. Um, Hmm. again, I, I, am kind of against a, like a soliloquy at this point or a monologue. That's what I'm looking for. Um, um, at least for this session, um, I'm trying to think of any other pertinent stuff. Uh, please have your, or at least have a good idea of what you want to do, even if you don't know the mechanics of how to do it before your turn comes around. Um, What's going on with Twitch? Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to remember everything. I just started a new medication today, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Oh, well, oh, that's something. I would have waited until like after the game to uh, let us know that. Nah, because that way when I start throwing you know stuff at you guys like you know stone colossi and aboleths and things like that, and you guys scream and die and total player kill, I can huh. look back at it and go, oh shit! No, I was on my medication. We're all good. I warned you guys. Yeah, <laughs> you I, didn't bail. Maybe I should have put that spell on teleport. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you guys excited? Yeah. I'm excited. No, I'm not. Not at all. Nope. Well then, I think, I, okay, we'll just end the stream here then. Okay, <laughs> night guys, that was a fun game. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week. Uh, okay. I'm just going to take a little time here and get some more stuff ready. So I'll be a little quiet. You guys feel free to converse amongst yourselves. I'm just Take a little time here and get some more stuff. Oh my god, did you see what that DM did to that one guy? Oh my god, I still have nightmares. So, can I'm sorry, I meant to meet up with you, Maddie, and I didn't, and that's Mm -hmm. my bad, and I apologize, but I don't know how to do the macros. I fixed all your weapon macros. Thank you. How do I? You just have to click on them, and they they ask you if you want to roll. Yeah, just click on like, them in the center of your character sheet. Ah, ha, 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 Okay, Mandor. <laughs> Bite me. I can do what I want. I'm just gonna take You're not my real dad. Here. I am. I can do what I want. You're not my real dad. I gotta remember to stop doing that every time I bring up the video it creates a nice little echo effect which is interesting for me but not for everyone else <laughs> someone give me a random day of the week Tuesday Friday. I heard Wednesday first yeah. I said Tuesday because Tuesday is the holiest of days <laughs> is it daylight savings time now uh yes yes summer yeah I, I'm concerned one. why you need this information. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's not important. I mean, that's a pretty important piece of information. <laughs> it's not important why I need it. Just don't worry about it. Oh, there's so many notifications. <laughs> I don't know which screen it's coming from. No tears, just dreams. <laughs> no tears, just, just dreams. dreams. <laughs> 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 and I still see the mental image of the like the sloth <laughs> whispering into the guy's ear. Yeah. Oh, what we should do real quick is.
get everybody's character names like the actual pronunciation of them so we don't accidentally mispronounce each other's names automatically so, so why don't we go in the order that the splash screen has it on <gasps> my name is behind somebody's name it's actually behind bad luck Baya. No, you got a token on the screen though with your name next to it too okay fine whatever yeah I don't splash, care. splash screen dear your splash screen <sighs> There are a high number of users in your video chat call. If the players do not have sufficient internet bandwidth, you may experience degraded performance or instability as a result. You're unstable. Sorry, Jimmy. I'm going to go to the, the gear all the way to the bottom and then go to the towards the bottom where it has video chat and turn it off if it's on. Uh, it shouldn't be on. Why? What? Whoa. What happened? Yeah. What? Ah! Well, you broke our DM. Way to go. Wait, wait, what? 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 <laughs> yeah, it should it should be disabled. Okay. Yeah. Um. Then I will be right back. Because if we're Means about to only if we're about to start, I need my brandy. Nothing. Brandy. I have wine in a beer bottle. I have absolutely no alcohol, and this depresses me. Yeah, actually, I had all my moonshine drink. I was actually um, very upset about that. Quick I have question my alcoholic about um, quick question on my character sheet. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, my rapier only has a uh, hit one. There's no one d eight. Way to go, Garrett! You missed one. <laughs> no, that was me. It sh it should be better. Oh, because Garrett's in it too. Yeah, one d eight. Uh, it was not one day at a minute ago. That's that's all I'm gonna say. No, because that's the um, that's what it displays for you to click on it. But it, it does have one d eight in the background. No, the one um, but it should be dexterity. Cause Javelin's you're... the same thing. Yep. Oh uh, I did not have one d eight in the background. I rolled it three times, and every every time rolled up a one. That's weird. All right, this is Javelin's gonna be really fucking strength. painful for me. Yeah, well, it's right there under the. Yeah, Garrett's fixing it right now. Okay, here's already yeah. fixed it. I'm gonna pop out from here. Um, Can I have Roll Twenty open on two different computers? Is that possible? Not yes. super. I mean, it sometimes it does stupid out. things when you do that. Hold on. Hold okay, on. I will be right back then. Garrett, you missed some. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do this. So that I can get a little bit more comfortable because Jesus fucking Christ, ow. What am I? There you go. Oh, that javelin is not doing it either. I currently yeah, lack I mean, a computer desk, so my desktop is on the ground. That <laughs> looks a lot better than just rolling one every time. Can, can somebody wait to do weapons then yeah, yeah. feeling all in manually is okay, click back. just to add one and then push the I the little I button in the top right and you can go to items and you can search the SRD and you can just drag them in and it'll auto fill everything for you. <sighs> okay, wait, don't get those. The I missed the I video. I... Where? Oh, uh, there it is. Or like yep, the chat bubble it. character sheet. Click that. It's the that's the SRD. Man, I'm I feel I'm too old for this doohickey shit. <sighs> Josh, you're a year older than I am. Shut up. I feel too old, and I'm 21, so. I miss Shadowrun. Shadowrun's simple on World 20. You know you know what's simple? Dice and paper. My face. Graph paper. Great. All right. I'm going to check everybody's sheets real quick, just to double check. Do we want to do the name pronunciation thing? Yes. Yeah, please, by all means, go ahead and do that. Because my name's actually Bia, not Baya. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, it's okay. <laughs> as in, by the way. <laughs> uh, 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 as in, by a sense of humor. Ooh, wow. Mm. So you wish. Okay, Authrix, so, right? le yeah. Well, it, it looks like Authrix, but there's actually seven... Um, uh, it has seven syllables in it. It's actually pronounced Authrix. Oh, okay. Authrix Dunscale. So... Pretty sure Varys is Varys. Or is it Varus? Varus or Varus? I didn't catch that. I don't know. It's John. Oh. John? Varus. Varus? Got it. Varus. Okay. Mm hmm. That's Hallis. Huh. Bia. 
if you try to pronounce his, his last name, you may as well. You might get stabbed. Uh, to what? Huh? Fan. And Nilo was his name. Oh. The child can't pronounce my name. Lexi. Dandelion eater. What? What? Me. Hi, Lexi. Oh, boy. I don't You're even quiet. know how to pronounce that name. I just like the way it looked. Thalia. <laughs> Thalia, yeah, Thalia, yeah. like Thalia, Thalia the Starlia, Starly, Starlia. Uh, I think Sarge decided it was Starly. Okay. Thalia, Starly. Starly. Slap an F on the end of that bitch. Starly. Oh. <laughs> Make it really elven then, yeah. That sounds like something you eat in the land before time. Oh my god, yeah. Leaf star. <laughs> or tree star? Yeah, tree star. Yep. Well, it's no, it's no worse than green leaf. Mm. Or long neck. Mm, tree beard. Little foot. Duck. I mean, come on. Mountain doom. Yeah. Spike. Petrie. <laughs> Petrie. Okay, Petrie was a little different than everybody else. Your face is a little different than anybody else. Wow, oh, I hope so. That was It'd be low. weird looking like everybody. Oh, I get sassier, believe me. Oh, this is this is good whiskey. Mm. I get like, sassy when I don't have alcohol and my friends do. You'd have to have the mask of many faces to look like everyone else. Uh, I, I was paid partially in cider for helping friends move today. <laughs> uh, bribing friends with alcohol. Best bribery in the world. See, I alcohol. didn't have to bribe my friends with alcohol for them to come and help me. Well, then you <laughs> did something wrong. Your friends also don't understand the value of uh, heavy lifting. Uh, it, my one not... friend does construction and window installation for his job, and my other friend was in the States Navy for several years. I'm pretty sure they do. That's a then they should have expected beer and pizza. <laughs> uh... It's almost okay. like you think I have money. Why three plus three piercing? Oh man, everybody's is. Oh boy. Hmm. Or we can just roll and look at what uh, what's on our character sheets and add it up ourselves. I know that's like a, such a foreign concept. Shh. Back in my day. Shh, don't, I didn't name it. Oh, I have to wait till I get to goldenrod, I guess. Huh. At least those will be right. Pretty sure everything on mine is correct. I've been staying at it for I last... added some weapons, but <laughs> six I, hours, so I didn't really know how to add them, and I probably won't be even using them, so whatever, I'll deal with it later. Oh, that's all right. I like I said, I this was a new thing, so thank you all for being patient while we go through it. Well, we had three God viewers it, on the stream, but now they're gone, so yeah. background music for the stream oh, I can get that yeah they got a handy dandy jukebox in here they do I won't be able to hear anything that's played on in the background well don't worry if you watch the video afterwards you'll be able to hear it right now I'm playing blind guardians the wizard good taste. Uh, be careful I... be careful what you oh shoot stream copyright because... laws Yep. Damn it! <laughs> I hate that's actually why they, That's why they took the SoundCloud options down. I hate modern life because it kept all the streams kept getting pulled out. Damn it! Like I'm so used to just playing cool songs <laughs> like in the backgrounds of my games. Uh huh. Yeah, I hate it. All right, that should be added. Oh, it's not added because I'm a goober. Well, our stereos are. Pl uh, playing Zeppelin. Days to confuse. It's that time of the night. We turn on the black light. Let the dungeons and the dragons begin. It's D and D. It's D and D. Oh my God. When our y'all are done. At, when our ship sent that ends at the Taco Bell tortilla jalupa. Ooh. Na 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 tequila. I I hear <laughs> I hear mood music. Okay, I was glad I'm not the only one hearing that. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, you're about to be sucked into an actual adventure. Grab, grab something, whatever it is. That's going to be your weapon. Good luck. All I have is a pencil and a mouse that I drew on. Well, good luck. Close enough. Oh, that reminds me. I better get like paper and something and write notes down on. Yeah. Oh. Yep, nope. I've got three notebooks, a bunch of pencils, and, and... a partridge in a pear tree. And I was gonna say my dice bag that looks like it's gonna eat somebody, but I guess that rhymes. All right. So how are y'all feeling tonight? Found it. Do you want me to answer that honestly, or do you want me to just smile and nod? Smile and nod. <laughs> I'm gonna say excited and totally not mildly panicking and <laughs> Mildly panicking about what? The universe. It's kind of a constant state. Yeah, the entropy is quite the uh, quite the panic-inducing thing. Mm-hmm. Game one. Okay, so. I'm your GM for the foreseeable future. Welcome, guys. Thank you for uh, filling everything out and getting here on time and being awesome. Um, I know there has been some confusion with stuff, and I appreciate you guys' patience as we got it all figured out. But we should be well on our way um, to getting all this stuff done. So let's go roundabout real quick. Let's start with uh, the reason I put the splash screen up, number one, so we have something to look at besides just, you know, random you know whiteness or maps or whatever uh, when we're kind of in these these lull periods but it also allows me to say okay we're going to go in the order of the splash screen to do things makes it a lot faster so um, in that order we're going to basically give a quick introduction of our characters uh, kind of a wrap up of what they look like um, and then move on to the next person so Josh if you want to take it away oh shoot uh, yes sorry let me bring up my character sheet again Okay. Othric Dunscale is, uh, he's obviously Dragonborn, a black Dragonborn, though if you look at his scales carefully, um, you'll see some, uh, iridescent shining, some more rainbow colors. Like, if you pick up a lizard, you can kind of, like, as light catches it, you'll be able to see the scales. Uh, he's about 6 foot 11. Um, his age in, in, in regular years is 55, but that kind of equates to around 24, 25, and uh, human years, and uh, yeah, green green eyes, and since he is of the northern dragonborn stock, he actually has some fur uh, on him. He has uh, downy fur along the tail and limbs, and he actually has a white fur crest around his neck, so think of like eastern dragons, and um, kind of reacts to his emotions a little bit like a cat. Um, and it's it's mostly white with some black speckling in there. So that's that's mostly him. Okay. John? All right. Uh, Varys, for those of you who can see, uh, he's uh, obviously a drow from the Undercity of... God, help me out with the city name again here. Elysia. The Undercity of Elysia. Never seen the sun and spends his time pulling people out of caves they probably, for their own good, shouldn't be in. Okay, just a uh, quick wrap up of his appearance. Yeah. Uh, as it looks, you know, long silverish hair, darker skin, uh, kind of stuck in one of those permanent I don't want to be here looks. <laughs> he has a resting bitch face. Yeah. Yeah, resting bitch face. All right, Garrett. Uh, Hellas is a he's like 5'11 he's a little he's a little on the thinner side he's more like the lean muscle he's got black curly hair like really gray blue eyes uh, he's a fighter he's a little rough and tumble uh, generally pretty stoic he's a human from uh, uh, what's that wow Cape Herald there we go um, sorry, my guy's What's from up? Silver Shore. Forgot to mention that. Anyway, continue. There we go. Uh, Bad Luck Bia, as she's called, is a seven foot five hulking Goliath pirate woman with black curly hair, um, eyes as blue as tropical water, and a warm gray skin crisscrossed with the uh, birthmarks of her people, hailing from north of Ibris's folly in the woods there, or well, tundra there. How high? How tall is she? I'm sorry. Seven foot five inches. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Lexi? Shit. Um. Uh, character is actually pretty short for an elf. Uh, she's only like almost six foot. Um. She is pretty like thin, but not weirdly so. Uh, she's got white hair, and her eyes are two different colors. One of them is blue, one is gray. Okay, and Aaron? Sparrow uh, is a thief. Most commonly, she's seen wearing uh, black leather armor with a hood and a cowl, so that all you can see are her eyes, which are piercing green with gold flecks. Uh, she's about five foot four and roughly about 19 years old, coming from Lorness. And um, when she does remove the cowl and she does remove her hood, she's got about sh- mm, chest length, long, thick red hair, straight, um, slightly pointed ears, hinting at the fact that she's not entirely human. And uh, she does things like pokes around in places where she probably shouldn't be. High five. Okay. All right. So with all of our characters complete, um, you all, uh, I assume, did read the kind of introduction that I gave everybody. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 I think I did. I did. When did you send it? Where? It was a it was a Google Drive link here. This is Discord. We'll we'll just go over it real quick. Okay. So oh yeah, I read that. I'm sorry. Okay, not a problem. So we're gonna go to the world map. So in this particular case, in the world of Calestia, uh, the island of Calestia, I should say, um, fairly large, about the size of Australia, turned up on its end, um, has been suffering a series of what has been called the Ash Falls. Um, Several towns have been reduced to pillars of ash um, after what the locals have described or anybody who has viewed it as a black sun on the horizon. Um, that was almost piercing in its intensity. Um, once the, the black sun had fallen, uh, everything that was left in a almost perfect circular uh, area had been turned into ash. Everything of its former um, former construction was still there, except it was just densely packed ash. Why are we drawing things on here already? <laughs> I, didn't mean to. I meant to move it. Like, like look at it. My bad. It's all right. No, it's it's better than some. I think the last game that we did, um, the last game that I did on here, I, I politely asked all of the players to wait until after the game to draw on it, and I would always come back to the roll twenty the next time, and there were just penises everywhere. <laughs> of course, that's what I was gonna say. The Listen, dick drawing has started early. <laughs> I'm, I'm being dead serious here. We were bored half the time waiting for the game to start. Okay. Yo, proud there, was, there was a lot of penis drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, so once the ash falls uh, had occurred, um, anything that was living uh, inside of the, the the circular area turned into pretty much uh, a, a much darker clay, uh, like it had been fired with large cracks in it. Um, there were reports that basically the shadows uh, that came out of them afterward had crawled out of these cracks, but uh, basically blackness would eat ooze its way out of the clay figure. Uh, and then rearrange itself into something resembling the form of whatever it crawled out of. And then proceed to start trying to devour anything in its path. This has happened three times. Four times. Mm-hmm. It's happened four times. The first being at Stromness, which I'll, you can all see up here. The uh, What was known as the City of Stone is now known as the City of Ash. Oh, as its herald, the Lord Haverford Drac... Which you guys should see pop up on your screen now. Mm-hmm. Um, the Lord Haverford Drac uh, was the Lord General elect of Stromness at the time of the Ashfall. Um, a brilliant wizard, top of his class, and arguably one of the best wizards on the island that has ever come out of the Arcane College, uh, put his whole effort and estate into trying to rescue his people and, and get rid of the Ashfall. Um, it had been a hard-won victory, and over time he has found ways to alchemically cleanse um, the ash, uh, but they also found out that not only could uh, when the shadows attack people and they sur- um, uh, and they would become shadows as well. 
Um, so if you breathed in the ash, uh, then you would become what's called blighted. And this blight basically was a, a time bomb waiting to happen because it would continue to infest you and infect you and until finally you died. And once you died, then you would turn into a shadow. So basically, um, there, there's all the blighted colonies um, of people who were part of the initial cleanup. Um, the Lord General of Drac tries to take care of them as best as possible for the sacrifice, but basically it's, it's unfortunately a leper colony. Uh, there, there's no telling when somebody else is going to die there. Um, where, where the is other thing, hmm? is this in Stromness still, or uh, just a side colony somewhere? Uh, this is it's in every place that it's occurred. Okay, sorry. Um, so anytime that there is a an ashfall that occurs, um, Lord Drac sends out his uh, basically he calls them the purifiers, people that are beginning to specialize in cleaning up the ash. Um, unfortunately, there's always casualties though, um, because dust gets into the air and air has a pesky way of getting into everything uh, especially because we need it so eventually there will be people that are blighted for each ashfall uh, he keeps a small colony uh, under guard but taken care of um, basically to to live out the rest of their lives um, so you guys um, up until this point um, the initial stromness ashfall resulted in an outpouring of support from the island. Nothing like this had ever happened. Um, it took out a large portion of Stromness and its citizens. Um, and there was just a, an outpouring of gold and support and, and people trying to, um, to help mitigate the casualties. But now this is the fourth time it's occurring. Um, it is less interesting. People just want to go on with their lives. It happens f too far away for them to really care about. Uh, and so far, it's really only the Lord General Drac and another Viscountess from Alicia who is funding the research because Lord General Drac has gotten very good at it, him and his purifiers. But he's the only one trying to figure out the cause behind it. Uh, and he's realized, as of recently, there was another uh, ashfall at uh, the city of Pietor, P-Y-T-O-R, uh, and claimed the whole village and everybody in it. Um, there were no survivors that anybody could find. Um, Lord Drac releases purifiers almost immediately to try to contain the damage that the shadows would bring. Um, but there were rumors that there was a uh, uh, there was a sighting of a blighted man in a town called Jadal. I'm sorry, Jedkal. Um, he looked to have an extremely advanced form of the blight, which means that he would have been at Piator in order to have gotten any type of ash infection. The Lord General Drac has realized that he cannot do this by himself and has reached out to your characters as a way to um, become have eyes and ears in places that he hasn't been able to find. While he's a brilliant uh, wizard and um, has come up with ways to counteract the Ashfall that nobody would have even thought of elsewise, he's terrible with people and he's terrible at maintaining connections. Um, so he asked each of you individually with your own, uh, reasons for joining to help him and assist him in this matter. And your first task is to track down this blighted man and either figure out what he knows or what he's seen or to, um, beat it out of him if you need to <laughs> figure out where he's been basically, um, how he became blighted what these things are. Um, you were dispatched pretty soon after the purifiers. Uh, there was a teleportation ring in Stromness that pointed you guys to TriPoint, and you guys have arrived in TriPoint uh, in time to try to uh, get some horses and get out. So, the feeling of your matter reintegrating into itself is always a jarring one, if anybody has experienced it before. Um, anybody Has anybody not had the privilege of using a teleportation ring? Guilty. Yo. Yep. Probably. Okay. This is a really jarring experience. <laughs> you basically had your mind sucked out of its cage, its little fleshy cage, and then reinserted back into it. Um, I would like anybody who would not have fathomably gone through one before to roll me a constitution save. That's like day one in the Magic Academy. No, I this. <laughs> <laughs> you said constitution? Constitution. Yep. Oh, good. Oh, I rolled good. a two right off the bat. Congratulations, <laughs> me. It's a good game. 
Um, my character sheet is having a tough time loading. Or it has blanked itself. So, question. Yeah. If you need to make, like, a, a saving hey, throw, yeah. do you just click on that stat? Yes. Cool. Well, no, not the stat. So, if you look at your character sheet, yes, um, there is a section next to it, next to the statistics that have the same statistic listed. It says saving throws. Just click on the stat itself, and it should oh, highlight yeah, the... That's why like... I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry about sorry. that. To... Eh. Okay, one, two, three, four. This everybody. I, I All right, so two, th- uh, you do not have everyone by far. Well, at hand, who else would? Well, would Josh, missing? Josh wouldn't roll. Uh, Lexi, would your character have used the teleportation circle before? Yes. Okay, so there you go, four people. All right, so everybody who hasn't used it before, uh, of those people, it is very jarring. However, Hallis, you're the first one to lose your cookies. (laughs) There is a conveniently placed bucket to the left of the door uh, as you guys start to to exit. Everybody is feeling a little disoriented. Uh, Bia, you... This is really jarring. This is like you lost your sea legs all over again. Uh, you've been on land for way too long, and all of a sudden you hit a wave, and your stomach just turns. Um, but you manage to keep it down. Same thing, Sparrow. You've never used it before, but this is definitely an experience to write home about. Uh, Varus, <laughs> after spending all night, after spending pretty much all your life underground, this is like being tossed into an ocean. Uh, and your body is just flailing. There's no solid ground that you can stand on that will get rid of this. And Hallis, you just like, nope, I'm done. Blah, like, that's fucking it. <laughs> Classy. So yeah. the uh, the mage the mage on duty uh, kind of looks over you all, especially with the few that are now very unsteady on your feet, and the one gentleman who is hunching over the bucket. Uh, he's seen this before. <laughs> this is not anything new. He very much has that oh, new people kind of look on his face. Um. Looks down, takes a moment to hold his hands over a set of uh, set of rune stones from Stromness. Yes, yes, yes. We are. I <sighs> just make sure to take the bucket out with you and throw it in the uh, the trough. Uh, just, ugh, just hurry up, please. It's not very pleasant. Um, you should. Anybody has anybody not been to Tri Point before? Need directions? He seems very bored. No, I know my way around. That's one of us. Uh, it's been a while. Could you direct us to the horses? They're this way. And Mage kind of looks at him. Follow that gentleman. He seems to know where he's going. Let's hope they have a big one. Wait okay. a minute. What time of day is it? Uh, it is like around noon. I'm gonna need to borrow some goggles from somebody. Does anybody have goggles? Nope. Uh, How about a wide-brimmed hat? <laughs> I'll take that. That's that's. I have a spare hood. Oh, there you go. Sure. Okay. Varus is gonna hit the outside, and oh, uh, I'm I'm. Yeah, this is... Just so you know, the hood is probably like three sizes too big for you because it's designed for a dragonborn head. But That's even better. Okay. <laughs> this big floppy hood. Um, so, Hallis leads the way. Uh, he, as much as he's trying to you know, regain his composure, he does seem to know his way around, uh, as, as told. Uh, and there is a stable that is close by to one of the exits. Um, the city of TriPoint is a very diverse city. You see all types of races walking around. Uh, there is a, just a hum and a thrum to the city that some places else don't have. The only thing that you would really be able to compare it to is the Grand Market of Silver Shore if you've been there. Um, there's just trade everywhere. This Every is square like inch is packed with market. Um, the only thing that you can see is a set, uh, besides Marketplace, uh, is a set of three stone towers um, that are on opposite sides of the, uh, the trade routes coming into the city, the trade roads. Um, each of them looks a little bit different. Um, the... 
who uh, every who doesn't know Tripoint? Who hasn't been here before? Guilty. I probably Yo. have. Yeah. Okay. I would say I've been here. So. Okay. So, um, they you guys would be able to share this amongst each other then. The uh, the the three towers of Tripoint represent each of the major um, jewels that uh, jeweled cities that claim this town. Um, one is from Elysia, and you can see a very um, similar looking marble structure to their towers. Um, Lorness claims another one, and you can see the very stark stone brick, um, but a little fanciful design to it. Uh, and finally, uh, there's an empty one that looks kind of like a multi tiered um, pagoda. Um, it's fallen into dis- disrepair. Um, that's the one that used to belong to a Krakow. Um, but as, as you guys walk toward the Elysian Tower, uh, Hallis will direct you to a staple. So, what do you guys like to do? Uh, see if they have any horses that are big enough for a dragonborn and uh, a dragonborn <laughs> and well, and a Goliath, as my friend here hopefully can find a ride. I ain't walking the whole way. Okay, so you guys walk up to the stable. It, it, you, I gotta say, you you would make up a very suspicious group <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> um, so the look on the face of the young human that's behind uh, the counter, per se, uh, is totally understandable as, number one, the first thing that he looks up is he hits the uh, around the chest of Bia and just keeps going up. And as his eyes keep going up, his face just keeps getting that, oh my god, does this stop kind of look on his face. Um, and he's, he then looks at the other very rough and tumble people around him and go, I, uh, is, um, uh, horses? Horses, please. Horses, tumble people around him. Varys go, is doing I, his best uh, to not look is, up. Um, just, <laughs> Uh, horses, High level, a little bit below. Horses, don't look up. Please, horses, people are out here. Varys is doing I, best to... uh, Um, big uh, horse. Yes, big yeah, horses. Biggest, probably Steel, the biggest horse you, you got. <laughs> biggest horses you got for those two. Uh, pretty sure you want them back at some point. Okay, so he he seems to uh, take a moment and, and compose himself. We um we don't have horses for for um you. Uh, we do have a wagon. If if that's okay, uh, but the rest of you guys should be able to to get horses. We have a few stabled here, uh, and he kind of goes over the prices real quick. It works. It's slower. Better than nothing. It's comfortable. Faster than walking. Barely. Varys is gonna hop in the wagon. I I don't ride things. <laughs> Which is funny because as a folk hero, you actually have animal handling. I I don't ride things. <laughs> That's what she said. All right. Um, are you guys going to take some time to view the city? Are you going to try and go straight to to Jed Cow? Uh, what What would you guys like to? How would you guys like to handle this? Well, if I end time. up viewing the city, I'm probably going to end up pickpocketing some people. So it might be better if we just go. I'm going to make a quick side stop to get a pair of just nice dark mining goggles. Just something to at least not make me have to squint everywhere. Okay. Anybody else? No, I think time is of the essence here. Uh, okay. where, where exactly <laughs> is Jade Call? What was that, Manny? I'm just going to stare at people and get amused at their reactions. Um, yeah, you don't see many Goliaths around here. Uh, even though there's a wide range of of races, and again, it's a it's a veritable melting pot. Like there's no there's a lot of humans so that's usual, but there is a lot of other um, a lot of other races in larger quantities that you don't really see anywhere else. Um, but there's still a lot of suspicious looks being cast your way. Like, oh my god! Like it doesn't help that you are the single tallest person around it's like the one person that's dropped their bag in high school and is finally stretched up to their full height i can't lose you on a crowd <laughs> you having fun over there redwood 
Uh, not too much parrot, but you know the deal. Okay, so um, Varys, you you managed to find a, a small uh, a dwarf uh, who is selling a few things that he has lying around. Um, who very quickly haggles with you over the price of a pair of goggles. It's it comes apparent very quickly that he's not haggling with you because it has any type of importance to him. He's just really bored. I'll I'll indulge him a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it's it's clearly worth the gold. These are these are fine dwarven crafted goggles. You can't get any better in the land. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've been in the tunnels a long time. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of secondhand repairs and work here. I mean, best in the land. Not really looking like that. Are you questioning my father's heritage at ad nauseum? Uh, <laughs> Just the back and forth of we both know this is for show. Exactly. Uh, so you guys finally managed to settle on a couple silver, toss it across it, and you actually managed to. They are really good. You know, they, they're very worn in. Um, you don't have to wear, there are no suspicious smells or anything like that. He did a good job of cleaning it. Uh, but it is a <laughs> lot, a lot better on your eyes now that yeah, everything's just, in the shade. Just reaches under the hood, puts on the goggles. Oh, so much better. <laughs> so is, uh, so you guys, I assume, all pile into the wagon after that? You... Uh, who's driving? I, wanna I can drive. drive. Damn it. I'll sit up front with whoever's driving, but I'm not riding anything. I'll take a nap. There we go. I'm not riding in that stupid death trap. I. <laughs> I want to ride a horse. Get their own horse. You sound horse? like my first mate. I promptly plop myself down, tail out of the way, and begin writing in one of my books. Okay, so we have. Uh... You can write in a saddle, you know. <laughs> So we have Sparrow and uh, Althea. I think I pronounced that right. Uh, riding on horses. We have uh, Bia and Othrix in the wagon. And we have the drow sitting outside in the sunlight. And... Oh no, Var Varys is hopping up in that wagon and he'll drive it if no one else is. <laughs> and Harris, are you going to... Huh? Pal still drives the wagon. Okay. So you guys go ahead and take off uh, wagon to escorts. How do you react to each other? Because there are a few of you that haven't met each other yet. Um, Othrix is pointedly kind of ignoring most of the group right now. Well, so see... Go ahead. Yeah. Varys, uh... You don't get a lot of people that tall in the mines. So, uh... Appreciating the that people can actually grow out here for a minute. <laughs> There's no room. I'm just sitting amusedly looking around, figuring and no someone's gonna ask something eventually. Nobody's nobody's questioning why there's a big old you know, he's got a big old hood over his head and goggles under that. He's... Oh no, I'm questioning, but I know the answer. So well, I'm questioning and judging silently. He's a drow. I'm not questioning this right now. <laughs> now this is pretty much fine with everyone. He's just bad at expressing. Uh -huh. I, I see Harris being kind of the Buddhist of the group. <laughs> no, it, it's all good. Everybody can get along. Yep. Varys is just trying not to step on anyone's tail. Or stony foot. Stony foot. He's still half blind. <laughs> oh gosh, poor guy. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, if you guys are just gonna kind of sit, look at each other. Uh, um, the I, the ride. I'm sorry. I Spar just... Sparrow's probably conversing quietly with Bia. Just you know, as a from, from horse to wagon. Yep. <laughs> Hal is driving again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, I just kind of scooch a little closer to Hallis. So, uh, how'd you get roped into this? I asked. Oh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, boy. We're off to a great start. Uh, Varys, <laughs> we'll take a look at uh, Athalia. Wait. I... I could have sworn last time I saw you, you were a little more scared for your life. Yeah. 
That's because there was a cave coming down on my head. Only part of a cave. I told you. Whatever. Why, uh, don't tell me. You signed up for this? Need a new place to go. New group of people. Oh, good. You at least got a choice. <laughs> so, so what, you didn't? I'm I'm having to act as a literal act of God. No, I didn't. Oh, goddess. Yeah. Act of goddess. I'm not making that distinction. <laughs> 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 Bitch, don't deserve that. <laughs> Cheers so. to gods and their interferences. Oh no, no. She gave she didn't she gave me a choice. It was everyone else who decided I had to go on this wonderful great quest. Friggin' save someone's life and this is how they repay you. I resonate with that on a spiritual level. <laughs> but, Lack yeah. thereof, spiritual I mean level. if no one's I if no one's eyebrows go up at I having to act as an act of God, then um, you no, carrying on. You, you kind of see Othrish's tail twitch a little bit, but he still stays kind of writing. Bia sits up a little straighter. Don't kink your pointy ears off. <laughs> Let's get going. You get roped into this bullshit too, Redwood? I was made an offer I didn't feel like refusing. <laughs> And, uh, what is it? I kind of turn to Sparrow, give a little nod, and look back at my She, book. she literally, she looks at you and very deliberately raises her middle finger. I gave it back. What more do you want? Took my quarry, asshole. Oh, so and you I know gave each it other. back. Not well. All right... But it, but it, it well, all right, all right, fine, 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 fine. You don't steal from a thief, especially when she's on a job, dumbass. But you stole you it from You must not be a very else. good thief, then. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> you really want to die in your sleep, don't you? I would prefer Everyone's not to die. has gotta go sometime. If he dies, you die. I'm already dead, so not really. You kill her, this. you deal with me. Go good, Mexican standoff. Well, the way this is going, everybody is I'm... going to die in their sleep tonight. So I'm at just least we're all stay equal. out of this standoff. What was that, Lex? I'm just going to stay out of this standoff. I don't want anybody dead yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah. Top yet. Five if minutes we all die, game, none of or... us get paid. Yeah. The giant has a point. I agree with that. <laughs> All right. So, so with this uh, friendly banter back and forth, uh, with the <laughs> quest failed. <laughs> About to say, one um, minute in, we're already at each other's throats. Good going. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay. This is how so, friendships are made. The um, does anybody know where Ged Cow is? I was about to ask that. <laughs> where is the city? Um. My triangle of influence, though. Well, why don't people make me a... I have to actually look at the skills. Give me un moment. Ein moment? Actually, pitch it to me. So this is something that I enjoy doing. Uh, you guys tell me what skill you think you should roll uh, in order to locate this city. Were there any archaeological digs or of historical importance of it? Mm, you can roll it and check. Darn you. Can I look for a road sign? <laughs> sure. Perception check. So, what? That would be a history check, I guess? Yes, it would be a history check. Okay, where's my history? Uh, okay, anybody else? Do I have advantage because it deals with cult? Uh, no, so it's I, not with cult. I'm just going to roll straight intelligence yeah. to remember if I know where it's at. What's up, Lexi? Rolling a skill, do I just click on it? That's yeah. correct. Okay. What was uh? What was yours, Garrett? Said 
I'm just rolling into straight intelligence to see if I remember where it's at. Okay. What would you want rolled, Sarge? Uh, what Whatever. do you want to roll? Uh, First roll of the night? Damn. Yeah. It's okay. The oh. the dwarf I was haggling with, could I ask him? Just, hey, you know where insert insert thing here is? I thought we were on the road. Yeah, good cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you are on the road toward it. <laughs> uh, but obviously it's not on the main road. Let's go back! Um, well, that just flags someone down. Excuse me, uh, new to the city. Could you tell me where Ged Cal is? Using that whole folk hero thing. Okay. Man of the people. I'm a folk it works hero. For me. Tell me where Make well, me a charisma check then. Straight charisma. How do you spell Jed Cal? G E D. Actually, I'll just post it here. I did not spell that right at all. Straight 10. Okay. All right. That's one, two, three. I need two more rolls from people. Well, Sarge, can I. Was the city of any like religious significance? Not really. Okay. Well, then I'd, I'll just roll straight intelligence. Okay. I think we have. We should have not brought a map before we left the town. That that was an oversight on our parts, but I, I still have I a good feeling. I don't need a map. Ooh, who am I missing? I'm missing Sparrow. Sparrow. Yeah, I'm thinking. You can try to intimidate the world to tell you where it is. <laughs> oh where is it? Just screaming at a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me where think... it is, you sly bastard! If you fucking think I can make any kind of intimidation check, you are very wrong. <laughs> um, can I... And you can roll a straight statistic. It doesn't have to be a skill. No, I was thinking, can I roll int and see... Um... If I can recall anything from the other thieves from my guild, like who may have spoken about this place. Absolutely. Hmm. Click. Click. Okay. Yeah. So as a. Uh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know shit. Oops. <laughs> So as at you least guys it are happened now and not at a critical moment in combat. There it is. The, the, the first the natural one of the where game. Where to locate. <laughs> we're starting off great <laughs> Mexican standoff and a nat one nice. oh my god bite me <laughs> <gonna die. laughs> um, so as you guys are traveling uh, it does come up in conversation despite all of the veiled threats uh, that nobody knows exactly where this city actually is um, so the first person to kind of hang himself out the, the window first person that drives by uh, the drow takes it upon himself to bend over and be like hey you know we're trying to find this place have you gotten there um, the initial reaction is to draw a dagger uh, as a look of horror crosses the person's face as they realize, oh god, he's got super dark skin. Uh, and then realizes you're not a party of uh, drow that are trying to enslave him uh, and very shakily points in one direction uh, and gives some quick instructions. Versus like, I appreciate it. <laughs> um... Othrix then follows up as uh, he's he, you're, you're thinking. Um, there is no significance of the location itself, but you do remember at one point that you had to go here to negotiate with a tribe of orcs that might have found something. Um, you do recall from your history check that this is kind of a native uh, trading post. Um, some of the local tribes will come in to, to sell off some of their furs and stuff like that in order to get some coin or things that they need for their tribes. Um, this is one of the native um, native dragonborn oh. areas of trade as well. It's just a small, small spit city, um, a general store, and that's pretty much it. Uh, then we have Hallis. Um, you have traveled by this before on the way um, through a caravan. You remember it pretty fondly. Uh, you had a really good game of Liar's Dice one night here. Um, so you remember that there was a turn off of the main path in order to get there. Um, and you, you figure that you probably can figure out where it is, which one it is, before you get there. Um, Althea, um, you rolled just memory check, street memory. Wait, are you talking to me? Yes. You talking to me? It's Athalia. It's Athalia. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's Athalia. Um, and I rolled an intelligence check, so yeah, I would guess just straight memory of 
have I ever heard of this thing and where the fuck is it? Okay. You do remember meeting a group of people um, in one of the uh, one of the taverns that you've played at that were from Jed Call. Um, first time in the big city kind of thing, enjoying themselves. And you, you shared a few interesting uh, travel uh, tales. Um, these guys seem a lot more learned than everybody else, or at least accepting, because they've been in contact with so many types of people. Um, but they did say, you know, every time the natives came in, it always got really tense. Uh, because of how they like to haggle was much different than everybody else. Gotcha. Uh, but you do remember that they they spoke greatly of it being close to one of the areas, uh, one of the um, natural bays of Lake Wyvon. Hmm. Um, and then uh, at one point, uh, Sparrow gets in an argument with Hallis. No, this isn't where we turn off. I've been here before. Why would we turn off here? It's on the main trail, I promise you. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> if I would well How would you how would you handle mind. that? What's well, what's up? No, it's I, I was just trying to see if I remembered anything and I would think that a natural one would be that I do, I would probably have never heard anything about this place, so I wouldn't know anything that Or you remember wrong. Anybody. It could be one or the other. If that's if that's how you would like it done, then that's fine too. Um, you just have nothing to add. Um, you're totally lost. You have no idea where you are in this particular area, at least to find this place, uh, and have nothing of real substance to add to it. So you just kind of follow along and keep chatting with Bia. Bia, however, um, you do manage to, uh, and a lot of it's unmarked, um, but you do manage to find there are a couple wayward signs um, there are some guide stones that you managed to come across. Uh, they're really overgrown. Nobody's really maintained them. The, the priestesses and priests of Shadal have not been through here recently to clean them up. Uh, but you managed to catch it. And you're like, oh, wait, shit. Hold on. Let's take a look at that. And you guys managed to get to Jed Call, or at least in the, the area around it, um, a little bit before sundown. Um, probably a good five, six hours of travel. Okay. <laughs> So, as you start rolling up, um, everybody make me a perception check. Uh, this is going to suck. Please let this be a good one. Because I've got nothing for this. Eh. Oh boy, there's the first net 20. And there's the first net one. <laughs> Second net one. Second net one. Oh dear God, Wait guys, stop rolling Wait. net ones. Yep, disadvantage in sunlight. Um, Shit. Well, it's near. It's, it's not near, direct sunlight. Yeah, it's, 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 oh, it's almost sundown. Not direct sun sunlight. Okay, then I'm so gonna much. have to reroll that. No, it should be. It's yeah, you need a three on the other one. If you if you leave your eye, uh, cursor to hover over it, it will tell you what uh, your two rolls were in the parentheses. Three or one. All right. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, Sucks four, five, six. Suck. Excellent. Um, um, what's up? I I didn't roll because I my skills for whatever reason didn't save my uh, proficiency. So give me a second. Mm -hmm. Just double checking because I don't even actually remember what they were. I remember I had a lot of them, but I don't remember what they were. I have like four laptops open right now. This is excellent. Elite hacksaw. <laughs> She's hacking the Pentagon to find her proficiencies. <laughs> so some poor intern's gonna be like, "Shit, I just had my character stolen." <laughs> oh my god, uh, sir, we can't play five E tonight. My character sheet's gone. <laughs> I swear to God, we got hacked. No, we're gonna steal the Declaration <laughs> of Independence oh stat sheet. No, we're just gonna, we're just gonna steal the uh, the monster manual. Sir, they stole the six E <laughs> monster manual. It's gone. <laughs> Just imagine, like, some intern just busting open a general store. Sir! <laughs> They've stolen the 6th edition stuff. Cold red. Dear God. Takes off the sunglasses. Why are you wearing sunglasses inside? Same reason the drow's wearing them. It's just, oh, it's just too bright. The drows have infiltrated our government. It's Perception, sleight of hand. That's what I thought. Okay. That explains so much. Actually, it does, actually. <laughs> it does, yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Perception, and click, and submit. There you go. Damn. Okay. 
Um, so, Othrix, you're you're too far in your book. This is so interesting. You don't really. Yeah, you you're, you're still writing. Um, Dear Dyer, it's... today he looked at me. <laughs> oh uh, my god. <laughs> Varys, it's it's still it's that twilight area where it's still really hard to see. Um, so it's it's been very trying for you to be out in the sunlight for this long. You're just kind of tired. Um, Athalia, you're tired of riding on the horse. Like you're used to travel, but this is like you want to pack it up for the night. This is it's too much. Um, however, everybody else, you notice the distinct lack of noise of a town. Uh -oh. There's no carts. There's no murmurs. There's no. I mean, even when some, even when like a town is kind of closing its doors for the night, there's still noises, you know, that indicate that something's coming up. Um, Bia, you are actually the first one to notice that even with that silence, there is no lights. Something's not right. Doesn't look like it. Okay. There's a distinct lack of lights in the buildings, and uh, unless they're worshipping a god of snuffing, I uh, think something might be wrong. <sighs> the minor okay. god of snuff. <laughs> <laughs> and Worship so even, it starts. Even day's day's night is not this quiet. Or this dark. Ver as soon as it's pointed out, Varys is just going to hop out of the, hop off the cart. It's just fell on him. Okay, who's driving the wagon? If anybody's driving the wagon. I was driving, but I stopped it and then jumped out. Okay. Are you guys going to proceed out. on foot? Nice. What was that? I'm getting my pike out and ready. I I'm going to look at Hallis. Keep, uh, keep the cart moving. If we got to run, it that'll be faster. I just I don't feel like, being a, feel like being in a pine box already. All right. Not very wise to go by yourself. Take this. <laughs> um, All right, so how do you guys want to proceed? Othrix kind of pokes his head through the front. I'm going to hop off the horse. Uh, and it's you said it's twilight, so the shadows are long? Yep. I'm going to start stealthing. All right, make a roll. Still too friggin' bright up here. I, Othrix kind of... Whips 18. his hood up. I don't think you're going to be able to see anything in this, twi this twilight drow. This is the first time I've had sunlight my whole life. It's still too damn bright out here. Um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stealth and I'm going to sneak ahead and start scouting and see what I can see. Arthrix Athalia? Is Hold going on. To... Athalia, what would you like to do? Um, I guess I'll try stealthing. Okay. Make a roll for it. Um... Bia, you said that you were grabbing your pike? Yeah, my pike is out and ready, and I'm going to stand ah, near the others, yeah. kind of just looking very carefully for anything that might jump out and attack me. Okay. Uh, what would you guys like to do with the horses in the wagon, then? I'm just tying off the reins in the wagon so they won't move. And um, just, just for clarification, we know that the town is nearby. We Like, how far yes. away is the town? Do, do we the town the town is close by um i would say it's in within like 500 feet 500 600 feet oh dang um can i roll a perception check to see if i hear anything if i can smell anything that's it that's weird apart from just the general silence absolutely okay would anybody else like to make checks Damn. i'm scouting i'm scouting yep. ahead oh, so um i'm probably gonna just pop uh... divine sense Okay. Uh, divine sense is within 60 feet, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then, Hallis, would you like to roll anything? Uh, I'll roll procession. Okay. See what I can see. Bia? I think I'm going to listen and smell and, you know, kind of I, I, look I, at the I, animals I, and see if the, how they're acting, if they look spooked or anything. I've okay. apparently inhaled some of the snuff, and I'm now, like, sneezing, so... Okay, um, Athalia, are you going to be stealthing with Sparrow, or are you two going like separate sides of the road? Well, it's a good thing I didn't stealth with that roll. I mean, 
Sparrow just kind of motions at Bia because Bia knows her signals that she is going ahead and to wait there. And so she just kind of goes ahead. Okay. Doesn't really wait for anybody. Okay. Athalia, what you doing? Uh, you... Trying to sneak forward and probably failing. Well, you're, you're giving it your best shot. Yeah, my best shot's not very good. And you All just right. hear from you just hear from up her head under her breath. Fucking amateurs. Oh, these horses smell terrible. Okay, so between the two of you, uh, you do manage to get um, Sparrow. You find a nice ridge to kind of oversee the, the trading post. Um, Athalia, you um, manage to to not wedge yourself between two houses, but you you also get a good view on it. And Bia was absolutely right. It is almost eerie how quiet it is. Um, there are no lights in the houses. Uh, it's like nothing has been done. There's not even cook fires, uh, which they should have been well on their way to embers by now. Um, there's, there's no smoke coming out of the chimneys. It is just quiet. Um, as far as, um, Othrix, you, you are about to like, you're, you're trying to focus, but this damn horse keeps trying to eat your hood. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. it just keeps, you know, the, the lips are like caressing the back of your neck and you know, <laughs> it's, it's very distracting. Um, Hallis, you also get the same sense between you and Bia. It, again, it's quiet. It should not be this quiet. Um, you guys don't even hear much in the way of animals in the area. Um, it's just one of those just dead quiets in the middle of the forest that is it's eerie in the absence of sound. Tap the pallet. creepy about this. Yeah. Say so tap the pallet drow and start moving forward quietly. <laughs> He'll just nod and start rotating his shoulders. Oh, I've got a bad oh, feeling. Boy. Oh, no. Is that... Is that... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, what's with all the uh, what what's with of, all the nat ones? Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of um what kind of armor you're wearing? Oh, I have light armor on. You have white armor on. Alright. Um I'm trying to think because you're an experienced you're just not you're not being quiet about it. I'm you're listening. you're very concerned with how like what's going on around you that it's stealth is not forefront on your mind at the moment you're you're just trying to move forward keep your wits about you keep your head on the swivel that you don't really care how much noise you're making um as you guys continue are you guys going to approach it bia you're going with them yeah i'm gonna go okay is anybody else stealthing uh i i figured no. they know what they're doing i'm gonna try to stealth along with them because i can't tell shit from this area apparently because this horse, the, uh, the horse me alone. kind of neighs around you and tugs at the reins. It wants to follow you, but stop, you very stop, quickly stop. leave it behind. Okay, I'm going to roll for stealth. <laughs> the the, the Paladrow is yeah. not going to bother stealthing. He's just going to walk down the middle of the road. Tank. Okay. <laughs> well, you have the two main tanks now uh, who are walking down the middle of the road making a ruckus. Uh, <sighs> I assume the uh, and Othrix kind of move more shadowy areas of the road. <laughs> Keep calling me an amateur. <clears throat> Six Eleven Dragonborn doing better than most of y'all. That's all I'm saying. Just saying, if you didn't want to work with amateurs, you shouldn't have taken the job. Oh. Ooh. Just saying, caretaker didn't give me much of a choice. Are you actually That's talking when you're stealth? No, <laughs> I'm thinking it internally. <laughs> Screams internally. I know. <laughs> I know better than to speak when I'm stealthed because this is what I do for my life. So in, in Authrix minds, okay. just the Pink Panther tune is just playing. That's dude, 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 dude. Dude. See, I'm going for Mission Impossible dude. for tonight. Dude, 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 just gonna keep dude. a hand on the sword, walking forward. So, I suppose this is the part where they ambush us. Okay. Everybody roll for initiative. The rogue is even more <laughs> screaming internally, like, can we just be quiet for two minutes? Oh, Please. shit, there's a map. Two there's a map. Oh, God, two everybody, there's a map. Just two nah. fucking minutes. Oh, Varys my has been God. on the receiving end of just enough surprise beatings to know. Nope. Let him know you know it's coming. 
Shut your fucking whore ass mouth, you stupid drow. Oh my god. I am looking forward to you saying any of that to him. Why am I in the middle? But I'm stealthy. He knows I, I rolled a, a 19 for stealth. I am better than most I'm of I'm sorry, these. I missed what you said there. She knows a little bit better than that. She's cocky, not stupid. Oh god. Same thing. Yep. Why? What, what? What is that red person there, next to a dead body? That's bad. That's a bad, is what uh, that is. Okay. Okay. Give me a moment. Were we not supposed to see that? Should I forget that? No. Okay. No. You're. Uh, where would you Sparrow um, and Athalia? Athalia, sorry. Uh, how would you guys like to stealth into this area? I'm going to reveal. Should I? I, I area would, down below you. Hold I on would one be second. Stealthy. So. Well, yeah, of course. Okay, okay. You want me to just draw a line? No, you should be able to select your your token and move it to to where you want to go. Just no. make sure it's in this kind of back area here. Load, 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 load. Shit. What happened? I accidentally backed out of the game. Actually, no. I'm gonna, so, I'm no, gonna sneak okay. up here first and peek. No, it's okay. I got eight sneak seconds. Sneak here, reload in eight seconds. Peek. Hold on, hold on. I Get ahead I'm, of everybody. I think I'm just gonna stay where I put myself. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. So you, you said you're going there. like here. Yeah, and peek. Okay. Um. All right. So everybody, roll me initiative, please. I would kind no, of be following a little bit behind Sparrow. Click your token and then click initiative. How do I roll initiative again? You gotta. Open you click your token and okay. then how? Which one says it initiative? It? It's on the left hand side bar. Oh, the fifteen. Oh, I got Sarge. Sarge needs to open the initiative roller. Oh, yep, that's me. My okay. fault. <laughs> it's open. <laughs> All right. So, and which one is the Wait. initiative roller? How do I? Uh, all, All right. right. Oh, on your Lord, character. Lord, everybody. Too, too many on, people talking. On. When you go for your initiative, select your token, uh -huh. open up your character sheet, and then click on the initiative number. And that should Thank roll you. it for you and put it into the tracker. Yikes. Okay. Jesus. That's a lot of work. Sarge, your table hates me more than it's ever hated me before. Yeah, I'm, I'm see it hates everybody apparently. <laughs> that me. Did, did I did it work? Oh, hey, it worked! Yep. For whatever yep. reason. Hey, I'm not expecting anything in this to work. Not for me, anyway. Oh, yay! One, I am not dead last. Why does it still say John's character? Oh, thank God. No, I'm dead, I'm dead last. Thanks for that. I wonder why it's still saying your character, John's, John's character, character, instead of. <laughs> so why does your name tag say John's character? Are you having an existential crisis about that right now? I don't. I'm going to blame the GM for that. Because <laughs> when he saved Damn. the token, it's because when he linked the token, it was still John's character. Roles. There we go. All right. Extend this out just so I have it. Uh, whatever Mr. Creepy is, thank God he is going. He is like going after all of our roles. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. Why is like this? It. Okay. Oh, that's I, weird. I better get my character. I better. Oh, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> All right. Player's win. handbook. Thank you. We're all like sitting in an elevator together, <laughs> waiting, for the, waiting for the battle to start. Dun, 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 places, dun, places, everybody. <laughs> light the light. Okay, there we go. Okay, so um, is is everybody set up where they want to be? Uh, I wanted to inch forward a little bit, if that's possible. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me yep. Move within my the first, we'll where... say the first four, um, okay, first four areas. Sparrow. I'm just going to move you back real quick, Lex. First four, so right there. Yep. Okay. Bia. Okay. All right, so we start with Sparrow. What would you like to do? Creep, peek. It's literally she's taking a step and she's looking in all directions, up and down included, before she's taking another step. Okay. Being hyper aware. Mm -hmm. Gonna go this way. She probably hasn't seen the guy in the front yet. 
Uh, this would carry you to see it. Okay. Okay, and yeah. is each square five feet? Yes, that yep. is correct. She freezes, and she kind of, like, makes a motion at Othrix. Okay. Like, to let you know that ah, there's something up there, and she draws her short bow. And I can't and an arrow. see it because of the house. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to move up to see it. There we go. Okay. Um, Athalia? Eh. Um, so, question. Uh, I'm sorry, for and Sparrow. Not... Hold on. Mm -hmm. One sec. Lexi, go ahead. So, I can just move and... Can I just go back to the main group, or should I... Yeah, you can if you want. Okay. Well, I don't know if... Because I figure my stealth rolls bad enough that I kind of just want to go back to the group. Okay. All right. So she kind of emerges out of uh, the twilight uh, beside you guys from between two houses. Is there anything you want to relay to them? I didn't see anything. So I'll just say that. Okay. Uh, Othrix. Okay. Um, I saw Sparrow nod at me, and she kind of gave me the motions that something's up there. So I'm going to sneak up. Um, I won't be able to see it until I'm, like, right here. Is that correct? Correct, yep. Uh, <laughs> so if anybody... <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> if anybody doesn't know, you can use the, uh, the ruler icon. We shall be doing line of sight based off of center of square to center of square. Got it. Um, so if anything so... interacts with that on the map, okay. then you won't be able to see it. Do I have to roll... Does that make sense? Yeah. Do I have to roll sneak again to get up to... Here or my uh, no, you already rolled a sneak, and I assume okay. that you haven't done anything to break that. So. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Okay. So I am going to... So go ahead and move your token. Yeah, yeah, I'm... Uh... Oh, I got you. got to select it. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Okay, I'm <laughs> going to move up there, and mm -hmm. now I see what I'm looking at. Do I recognize what this is? We will get to that in a sec. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Um, I assume I, am... I cannot see the shadowy evil thing currently. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I just want to say I hold my action for if it starts rushing towards us. All right. Yeah. Did um. Okay. And yeah. Uh, can sorry. I move up until I see it? Yeah. That'd be probably about here. Uh, then I I'm just love go. the cascade of arrows. Do I recognize the thing? Lightning or? bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! We'll get to that one in a second. How else oh would you God. like to move within view, or you may already I see hold it? My action in case I, it runs at me. Yes, you may. Stepping in the little elf. Okay. I love. We're all holding our action the moment it moves. <laughs> <laughs> and Varus. Varus is going to walk to about here. Okay. Hmm. Sees everyone else stopping. Come on, people. We don't have all day. Oh my god. No. <laughs> okay. Just oh. shield and sword. Oi. Biggin. <laughs> Orthix. Orthix, at this point, you hear the disgusted sigh come from behind you. Okay. I, I, you just hear so, a little as bit you of a all gurgle from cautiously, my mouth. As you all cautiously approach, um, there is the the splayed body of somebody hanging on this fountain on the very edge. Um, oh, his Jesus. head is in the pool and his arms are floating. He's resting. You can't see too much. Except as you kind of keep watching, you notice that there is something off. There, there, the darkness has kind of coalesced around him. Uh, in the form of the humanoid, and this humanoid is kneeling next to his ribs and is just tearing chunks out of it. 
Um, but it's not like a, some of you have seen wolves or other type of creatures hurt people and, and bite into them. It's not quite like that. It's not that meaty blood everywhere thing. It's almost like the just it stops existing wherever it touches. Um, so as Varys walks up and grabs its attention, oh, God. It, you don't see it turn. All you see is a pair of white circles kind of move around and make eye contact with them. And there's a very low guttural rumble uh, as it turns and starts to... The, the shadow's not so much... Because it's not a 3D vision that you can see. It just kind of coalesces into the silhouette of somebody standing up. Uh, both eyes focused on you. And it starts shambling. Oh, God. So, I, so you held your, your attack, right, Varys? Yep. Okay. Would you like to make your attack? I would very much like to make an attack. Right. As this silhouette begins to... <laughs> well, how are we doing the held actions? Because I think like a bunch of us held our actions. For the second it started to move, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Towards okay. you, I believe, is what y'all said. Yep, yep, exactly. So as it starts to shamble, uh, feel free to unleash hell. <laughs> Uh, so who... and we'll start. We'll start in in order. So with Sparrow, you held first. So go ahead. Yep. Nope, that's the wrong screen. <laughs> that's the right yep. screen. Nope. Okay. Oh, and then um, if it hits sneak attack, do I just click sneak attack? Is that going to automatically apply it? I believe so. Yep, three extra damage, so five, six, seven, eight. So as it begins, as it picks itself up and begins to shamble over, the arrow somehow impales itself into the head of the creature. Um, Othrix would be the only person that even knew she would Sparrow was there. Uh, and Othrix, you barely feel the whisk of the arrow travel over your shoulder. I just kind of go... <clears throat> um... Give me... Hey, I almost got shot! Ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of, I think I'm kind of used to this Lol. at this point, because I've spent enough time with her that this is off, probably a common occurrence. Yeah, I, would, I, would I mean, so. we've, we've, we've run into each other a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker. Taking I my gave shit. it back! I gave it back! So it was, all I have to say. How much damage? Five, six, seven, eight, eight damage. It is mine, and I don't share. It wasn't Jerry. I gave it back. You have it. That's all I have to say about. I shouldn't it. have even took it. You shouldn't have even taken it in the first I place. I needed it to complete my thesis. All right. I called dibs. You fucking twat. The awful. essay was bullshit. So, the ladies. essay was so. Too as you as you're arguing, you oh, sure. uh, Varys, you realize that the arrow. As it continues to shamble toward you, the arrow is implanted in the side of its head. And the low guttural rumbling continues. Oh, shit. Oh, good. Althea? Wait, Athalia? Is, sorry. Is I keep putting this pronouncing. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, well, it turns out I'm an idiot. So. <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign. I forgot to buy a bow. You have throwing knives or something? I got one. Well, well, how many daggers do you have? You only have one dagger? Yep. Wait, what? Uh. what wait, what? You can throw that and close the range. I mean... Uh, or you can freaking... buff us? Arrow didn't do anything to stop it. What's a freaking 1d4 dagger gonna do to it? Well, if you know. crit, maybe a start hell of a lot. <laughs> hey, uh, college, ed the, the one with an actual edumacation here, maybe start trying to think of what is this thing? Why is an arrow to the head not stopping it? Yeah, maybe I'd physical rather attacks? Kill it first. I'd rather kill it first. I like, I like the spunk. Ah. Uh... Oh, that's that's the spirit. Look, John. Wolf Knight is a uh, being yeah. very entertaining in chat and saying that the, the only right option now. is to throw your friends. Taste it, <laughs> lick it, go up to it and lick it, whatever it is. Taste it. 
Mmm, <laughs> tastes like death. All right, I guess I'm just going to throw a dagger at it. Dagger. Okay. Dagger. Yeah. Pray to God. <laughs> Which one? Pray to God. <laughs> <laughs> I got that reference. Today's day, of course. Hello. I okay. got that reference. Well, that's what I got. It, it was high. Okay. So that actually, <laughs> with that, um, no. the oh, no. dagger actually hits impales it in the chest, kind of skitters off to the right a little bit. But it seems to destabilize it enough that the arrow falls out of its head and the shadow just kind of falls and dissipates. Oh! Okay. I didn't get to do anything. <laughs> um, however, with that... Shit. There's, you notice that the, uh, the rumbling, the, the low guttural rumbling... Has not stopped. Motherfucker. Shit. Are we still in initiative? Okay. Yes, we are. Yep. Can can we okay. tell can I tell if that man is still alive? Or he is he... very much not. Never mind. He's dead, bro. There, there, you don't even have to make a medicine check on that. This guy is literally missing from around under his armpit to about his hip. This and is just Dungeons like and Dragons. Water... Weirder shit has happened, all right? That's all that's all I have <laughs> that's to That's very say. true, actually. <laughs> um Tis but a flesh wound. I just I just kind of I, to the token layer. I just kind of turn back to Swallow and just say, I don't think it's a good idea for us to stay here. <laughs> So there's a there's a moment. It's fucking Sparrow, you dumbass. We've I'm done sorry. this enough. No, I'm just kidding. Can we not cut the GM off right now, please? Sorry. All right. So that's how it's various. Okay. So there's a uh, a distinct moment uh, where the rumbling starts to climb in intensity. Oh, shit. And there's a small that comes from uh, one or two of the buildings. As this, another shadow falls out of a broken door and starts shambling. I believe, let me check my stats real quick. Meep. Meep. Probably a good reaction to that. Um, how do you feed stats? Five, six. Okay, so there's that one. There's more starting to shamble out. One, two, four. Just a general perception check. How many about? Give or take three. Okay. Now it's uh, currently there's three. Uh, that would be your turn. My turn. Okay. Uh. Do we and they know we're here, right? There's no. There's oh no, yeah. Okay. So those those pinpointy eyes are all focused on somebody that's on the field at the moment. Do we want to stay or do we want to run? Should we stay or should we go now, dude? Do, 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 do. <laughs> I I heard a bard singing that earlier. Yes. <laughs> well, God, a retreat. At the same time, we are looking for something here. All right. Yeah, then. You, are tasked, you are tasked with finding somebody in particular that was at this town. All right, then. Um, okay, let me read this. Hang on, three. Each one. You all can three. run, but someone okay. might actually be left alive so, here. So, for the first time in my 12 years of playing Dungeons & Dragons, I'm going to cast Magic Missile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Who are you targeting? Uh, I'm targeting these three because I get three shots. Of you create three glowing darts of your of magic force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice, and you can see within range. A dart deals one d four plus one force damage to its target. The dark darts all strike simi simultaneously, and you can direct them to hit one creature or several. So I'm going to attack. You do not you. see this one. I do not. Um. So just these two. Okay, um, I don't see that one. Um, okay, I'm going to, then I'm going to move, like, right here. Because I heard them coming out, so I want a better view. 
can I, I can see him. Nope. Nope. Didn't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> can I see him? Okay. So I can see him now, right? Yep. Okay. Yes, you can. So magic missile on all three of these buggers. All right. Quite literally into the darkness. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I, I hope this works because normal. Okay, so I just roll one d four, I guess. Uh, you would roll a d twenty because it's an attack, I believe. Oh, unless I unless it says it's an it's automatic. It's automatic hit. Automatic hit. Okay. Yep. Just roll three d four then. Okay. It's one d four plus one. Yeah, and then that's for all of them, unless you want mm -hmm. me to. Um. How do you do that again? It's roll slash... It's forward slash R space 3D4. And then I can just do the math real quick. Forward slash four R... Three. Well, no. Uh, that is forward it. slash R space 3D4. And then I'll just add one to each of the dice. Ah! Okay. Eight damage on the, each of them. Nice. So... You just see me reach beneath my ro robe and start rubbing something black kind of in my hand and then lifting out my other hand. <laughs> okay, so the uh, d describe how it impacts them. Okay. Um, each one of them, I'm trying to go for their center and as it impacts, you just see this kind of like a lightning chain Kind of like a lightning in a storm cloud, just go out through their entire body. Neat. All right. So with that, one. Oh shit. Two. Oh fuck. One. Oh shit. Two. Oh fuck. Uh, the door directly next to you busts open, and two more of the shadows roll out. I swear in draconic. <laughs> What is your what's your DC? My or DC, uh, it should be fifteen, or uh, armor class. You mean? Yep. Yeah, uh, it's fifteen because of my uh, draconic water, uh, draconic resilience. Okay. Uh, plus three to hit. Please, oh please, oh please, oh not. Please, oh please, oh please. Oh. What is that one Woo! and a three? So the dice hate everybody, <laughs> <laughs> including the shadows. As both of these guys start clamoring toward you, um, again, it's very awkward. It's like watching a painting trying to come at you. Um, but the cobblestones are starting to hobble them up as one kind of falls directly in front of you and the other like reaches for you, but it kind of slides off your side. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, this would be Bia's turn. All right. Um uh, Am I within range to smack that one diagonal with from me with my uh pike? Yeah, absolutely. Roll a d20 first, or just roll the attack, I think. You should be able to roll the attack. I think that hits. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, so that one definitely hits. Uh, that is eight piercing damage. All right. How do you hit him? I'm just going to run up side him with my pike and, and take the hook in and just kind of slash straight upwards. Nice. Yep, it definitely. Um, if, again, it's, it feels like it, you're hitting a 2D painting, but the damage is definitely shows as the, the shadow kind of splits um, where you hit it. It's still coming at you, but it, it's, it's shadow is basically dripping off of it at this point. And I totally forgot. Bonus action, I would like to rage. Okay. You do your rage, girl. Let's see. Um, we will make this the rage icon. <laughs> Approve. 
All right, so then it would be this person's. More more beating continues. One, two, three, four, five, six. As another another shadow falls out into the square, and it would be Halas's turn. All right. Save us. Yep. Dodge it here. Save us and bring back the net. That's gonna be. Can I see him from there? Not really. I can just see that he's like perfectly in that alcove where I probably can. Well, you see them attacking something, and you're hearing a lot of meeping coming from that direction. <laughs> a lot of general meeping. Meep, 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 I meep, can't meep. get to you from here, unfortunately. Can come to here. Just going to try to impale this one real quick. Okay. All right, this one. Yep, you hit for 12. Seven. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. All right, and as the rapier, rapier goes through its chest, uh, the shadow just kind of melts away. Oh, dang. All right. And that is all I can do with my action. Zavara system. Uh, Varus, your turn. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna run up and help with the meeping. <laughs> <laughs> run right about here. And right here. Uh, just a normal. Yep. All right. All right. Yeah, nine piercing damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you hit him? Just running right up, shield up, and just sort of charging straight into him. Just jab the reaper right here, right on end. Nice. You don't hand a, fin a finesse weapon to a bar brawler, but he has one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bringing a finesse weapon to a bar fight. <laughs> that would be Sparrow's turn. My turn. Oh, God, My turn. There's so many of them. Um. Gonna back up. Fire an arrow at that one that is closest to me. This one? Yeah, that one. Okay. Now, you guys, um, if you don't know, you can hold your select button down, or if, when you're in the select option, uh, if you hold it down in one spot, you will radiate a pulse. Oh, yeah. I love that, that way you guys can identify things. Also, while moving... If you pick up your token and press spacebar, it stops you wherever you press your space charge. So you cool stuff like this. Oh my goodness, way to hit. Oh wow. Uh, so that 20. Ooh, boy, roll another d6. Indeed. Ooh. Okay, so. Well, that's doubled, right? 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You hear something like, uh, you hear something like, get off my walking handbag or that's like kind of rude but still really funny at the same time <laughs> it is I'm, I'm a walking handbag <laughs> it's a it's a big hit so go ahead and describe it all right um she backs up pulls the arrow knocks it and lets it fly and as she lets it fly there's like slight shimmers of what looks to maybe be like some kind of shadow of sorts or something and it pierces right through and as it pierces through just kind of from the chest where the arrow goes clean through it dissipates outward like that nice all right i'll follow you all right i'm just gonna move because i don't have any more weapon to use this range uh your dagger is by your foot 
I'll pick it up. <laughs> okay. Do you have any uh, any spells or anything that you want to try and cast? Probably not, because it'll affect all my friends, too. I got one, and I don't really feel like screwing over my party members just yet. You might be able to use Acid Splash. What's the range on at 60 feet? Yeah, I could do that. Mm -hmm. Are you... Don't edit my stuff. Sorry, I'm out. I was just looking at it. <laughs> now I gotta go back up. Wait. Intensifies. Do I have to clean or click on the um, one I want to hit? No, you should just be able to roll the thing itself. I'll tell you if you hit or not. Okay, but don't I have to pick a target? No, nah, just click. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so it needs to make a DC 10 saving throw. 1d20. Alright, that would be... I don't think enough. Nope. Not enough. It hits. So it does. How much damage? Uh... 1d6. Alright, it does one acid damage. Ouch, oh. my new leather boots. <laughs> okay. So now one, two, a three. A one, a two, a three. A three. A three. So this thing, um, as it kind of rushes up to you, uh, Varys, it pulls both hands back, and as you kind of look up at it, the hands have morphed into scythes as it starts to come down on you. Oh, that's only moderately terrifying. Mm-hmm. 20, what's your AC? Who, me? Yep. 17. That's not going to hit. <laughs> no. Uh, how would you want to block it? Straight up shield, just nope. That's that's no bueno. The shield of <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so this <laughs> one's going to rush up to Bia and attempt to hit her. What's your AC, Bia? Uh, one sec. Fifteen. Okay. Not enough. How would you like to block the swipe? I think I'm just gonna use my swing the pike around and just kind of deflect it with the hook of the boarding pike. Okay. Nice. And Offers. laugh at it. And laugh at it. You cannot touch bad luck! <laughs> <laughs> Tiny little shadow is amusing. Is it my turn? Yes, it is. Cool. All right. Um, if I move, they're going to get an attack of opportunity, right? If they move away from you. Well, if I move away from them, right? Yes, they would. <sighs> okay. Um... There is a window right next to you. Oh, there is. Um, well, right now. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to move here and see if they do... I'm just going to take whatever they throw at me, so. Okay, I'm going to move there. And okay. They both get an attack of opportunity, right? That's correct. All right. Let's see how this goes. All right, what's your AC? 15. Josh, what's your AC? 15. 15. Both of them hit. Damn it. <laughs> Six plus 
Oh, shoot. I forgot how low. I, I'm totally forgetting how low. What? All right, you're taking 12 damage. You didn't oh. take shield as a cantrip? I, I'm down. He's a paladin. Oh, no. There yep, so as you attempt Fuck. to to push through and push them by, and all you feel is two swipes to the back of your head, and you black out as you fall to the dirt. Uh, yeah, I, I'm unconscious. GM. Yes, sir. Question. Are these mm -hmm. things avoiding sources of light? Fuck. Um, there are no sources of light around to test that theory. Okay, then. We can change that. <laughs> oh, guys, I can change that fun. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to rolling a new character. Oh, this has been such a fun game. Okay. There's one. <sighs> See, I'm forgetting how low level I am. <laughs> Man. Uh, AC is 14, correct? Sparrow? Uh, let me double check. I think so. Damn it. Yeah, sounds right. Yep. Okay. All right, you're taking four damage. Damn it. Okay. I completely forgot how squishy I am. Uh, All right. <laughs> she mutters something very unflattering. No, and that's infernal. okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> AC. Uh, seventeen. Oh, it it launches itself against your shield and starts trying to claw at you, and it doesn't quite work. Come on, Biggin. Come on. <laughs> so that's those two, Bia. Alrighty then. I'm thinking I'm going to stab the one that's in front of me. Shield is a cantrip? I didn't know that. No, it's oh, a shield, no, level, shield no. is level one. Yeah, that's why. I oh, thought. shield is level one. I'm sorry. It, it just didn't, it didn't fit. It, it didn't fit with this character. I'm sorry. Okay. I wanted to, but it wouldn't fit with this character. Next time you can, you might want to uh, take shield. Do I add rage onto for that? The sheer yeah, no, 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 I will. Nice. Yes, you would. When I level up, yes, you would. Be a spell. I think Maddie, that's just yes, a straight two. Should I click on it anyway? No, if it's just a straight two, you're fine. Okay, big hit. How's, how's it go through? I'm just going to take the pointy end and go straight for the mid torso and just kind of stab it against <laughs> the... Uh, I want to use the fountain to try to, you know, stab harder. Okay. <laughs> Well, the rage definitely helps that as you lean into the strike and it just kind of falls back against the, the fountain uh, the fountain edge. Um, a little bit of drool coming out. Two. Two. All right. Harris, Hallis, you have a scythe attack coming your way. 17 AC. 17 AC. So we can do... Whoa, what happened? All right. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> How are you blocking it? <laughs> I just gonna swat it away with his shield. Okay. Uh, and it would be your turn. It would be your repost. Alright. Just gonna try to stab that thing through then. Oh boy. I appreciate that I actually have popcorn, so I can eat popcorn and watch this massacre unfold. Do I remove the shadow's head? I think Sarge may have died. Well, I'm here. What's up? Right. My apologies. Oh dear. Okay. So that would be max damage for it, plus extra damage, so you're doing 15. Good solid hit. How are you describing it? Time to remember. I'm just gonna try to bury my uh, rapier through it. All right, it sinks all the way to the hilt with a satisfying force behind the hilt. All right, and then I'm gonna spin around, smack it in the legs with my shield, and try to take his legs out from it. You certainly stagger it for sure. Ah, uh, that's the contested athletics rule. Or it can roll like erratics, but I have to roll as I do. Uh, how are you getting a new attack? Shield or Master Feet. Oh, okay. What's it got to roll? It has to roll uh, acrobatics or athletics against my 50. Or be knocked prone. I don't think it's got either. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh yeah, they're totally not. Okay, so it is officially prone. Oh shit! How do I? What's prone on here? We'll do. We'll do this. <laughs> it is prone. That's a good one for you. Yeah, that's a good one. And that's all I can do. Okay, Varus. Uh, Varus is actually gonna cat put out some dancing lights. Okay. Ooh, shiny. Let's distract the thief with something shiny. Is that something shiny going on over there? You're in the middle of combat! I <laughs> don't know if there's a role for it. All of a sudden, a disco nope, ball just, just you appears create, in the air. It takes it takes a full action, though. Yeah, like, Varus basically just holding behind the shield, and it's like, okay, uh, this is dark, even for me. A little dark. So, uh, let there be light. Okay. What I want you to do, uh, go to the paintbrush, find a, just click on the freehand, and in the areas, just draw, like, small, like, light bulb or circle or something, just to indicate where you're putting your lights. I need a match range of... That's awful, but my mouse is not designed for finesse work. <laughs> I believe you get, you can create up to four. Yeah, up to four. I'm going to drop one right behind there. Okay. And one right next to that guy. Those should all be within line of sight. Yep. And that one is in... not. Um, yep, that they're within not. 20. You can't throw yeah. it here, though. All right, right there. Okay. And how do I erase again? That's, I already uh, got it. You can click on it with the select button and then just click delete. All right, thank you. Yeah. Uh, All of a sudden, four just wisps, wisps of light just appear. Nice. You do see them kind of look around, and it, it's unexpected for sure. You can tell that they are surprised. So all of them uh, will have advantage. You will have advantage on the next attack against them. All right. Against all of them, or only against the ones all of them? Okay. Yeah, they all have is, light near them. Yeah, because they're they're you see them kind of flash over the 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 white circles on their faces all turn toward that light at the same time. Pretty. Uh, where is Othrix? Did he fall inside the building? Uh, no, he is kind of next. He kind of collapsed in his face first against the corner of the wall. All right. After being slapped in the back of the head really hard. All right. My next thing is trying to just uh, fight my way over to him. But that's next turn. Okay, so that brings us to the top again. Sparrow, what you doing? Um, yeah, I drop the shirt, but draw uh, draw the rapier and stab. Okay. You said with advantage, right? that and then deck. and this is the one that I attacked before with the arrow and got a lot of good damage on so nice. I lowered their health for all of you alright so this is 5 damage total uh, so it's got to make a you guys time okay Okay, so for a moment, as you stab the short sword into it, you can see it start to dissipate, and and it's it, the shadow starts um, pulling itself apart. But there's a small shudder, uh -oh. and it starts pulling itself back together again. It can regenerate, <laughs> or there's something. It can do a thing. I can or exactly. Almost mm -hmm. killed it, but uh, Athalia. Uh, can I attack from a diagonal? Yes, you can. Okay. Gonna come back me up. That's the only thing I really can do. That arm with the shield is just getting a workout right now. Yes, yes, it is. You're gonna be like one of those arm wrestlers who's like. Other arm is significantly bigger. 
No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm imagining Quagmire from Family Guy at that point. <laughs> oh, yeah. The internet episode, Varys, yeah. You, uh, for a two-dimensional shadow, it carries a lot of weight behind it. Nice. That's wonderful. Good That's hit. It. I didn't even see what it was. Oh, nice. Damn! Good hit. Yeah, definitely a massive hit. What uh, yeah. how do how do you how do you stab it? Stabby stab. Uh, around Varus's shield. <laughs> so you kind of reach over and like poke it in the head. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I got short arms. Fuck off. I'm just I, I'm just giggling. That's all. <laughs> okay. All right. So this um brought brought its attention uh its attention has been brought uh by the rapier that has stabbed through its head uh but it will continue its assault on the large metal man who has created the lights in front of it that's <laughs> fine i'll keep poking it in the eye come on vegan mm, okay so oh, that is him. Damn. That is okay. not fun. That's what that is. Yeah. Uh, all right, you're taking 10 damage. Okay. Uh, and make me a constitution saving throw. Oh, shit. Okay. These things are shadows. They they turn people... Oh, fuck. Uh, that's a good con, at least. Oh, yeah. So you feel... Uh, basically, the, the scythe's kind of hit a, a spot in your leather armor where it's not super protective and just sinks in. Uh, and you feel this cold starting to spread from the wound. But it, you kind of grit your teeth and push it off of you uh, and that cold dissipates. Scythe is just sort of buried there for a sec. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> Alright, that would be that blacksmith. This shadow is going to take a swipe at Bia. Remind me of your... Ah, that's not going to make it. Yeah, yeah no, it, it kind of just tries to slam it. Like, scrabbling at the pole and trying to get itself up off the fountain edge, and you just kind of push its face back in. Seriously? Seriously, no we're going to do this? We're going to do this this way? Uh, Othrix. I need to make a one. I need to roll one d twenty for uh, saving throw, right? That's correct. All right. Gods have mercy. Oh, son of a bitch! That's a failure. Mm-hmm. So chalk one up on your sheet for yeah. failure. See that? All right. Well, uh, see you guys the in ten minutes. Take a swipe. <laughs> I just want to say 14. I thank you as a DM for the shadow now attacking me on the ground because that's an automatic crit and that would cost me two failures. Yep. All right. So this one does get past your AC, Sparrow. Great. Um, okay. That is six plus one. Uh, six damage. Okay. I'm out. Thought you were at eight. No, I took four damage before that. Four and six is ten. I have eight health maximum. Hmm. Okay. All right. So with a uh, a, a cl it feels like a club hits you in the side of the head, uh, and you just you're out after that. So that would be that that uh, the sh second shadow slams up against your shield again. Varys. Yep. Uh, and you said you had 17? Yes, sir. And this one manages to get through. I'm down. Oh my god. Oh, damage. I had one health left after that crit. Oh, man. Are we going to have a TPK like, first episode? Somebody's going to want to get the cart. Oh my god. TKO. <laughs> Uh, yeah, somebody bring around the cart around. Yeah, uh, just bring the cart. Bring out, you did. TPK. Oh my god. Turn one kill. Okay. Um, and we wake up, it was all a dream. Right? Uh, right? Yeah. Bia. My turn? Alright. Um, I'm assuming I just saw the paladin go down. Mm-hmm. 
Half our party is down. Use my full movement for probably something very stupid. Can I get to about? Okay. Um, you would have to. Oof. How would you want to do it? I'm thinking moving around that way, possibly. Okay. If, if you want possible. to, you can take a quick check. I mean, you, you're going to have to... Um, can I can not move through. diagonally? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can move through the fountain if you want and go around so you, you don't have to take that... Uh, at least the attack of opportunity from this guy. Yeah, you can uh, dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Yeah, duck and weave, duck and weave. Bob and weave. I will duck and weave. Okay. Now you will take an attack of opportunity from this guy. I'm fine with that. Probably not a good idea. Okay. No, nah, doesn't hit you. You're fine. Okay. He's, uh, basically, as you pull the pike back out and kind of plant your foot in his face to get into the fountain, uh, he keeps trying to club at you, but it doesn't work. As I'm running off, I'm gonna really quickly um, shout to Halas to go run and grab the cart. Okay. And then I'm gonna try to make um, biting McDark eyes. Can I make an attack on him? Which one? There's there's two of them. Oh my gosh. The one that's to the left of me. Okay. You can again if you have hold the select button and hold it down that one. Okay. Yep. Go for it. And you should get uh, advantage on this as well, because I think that's one of the ones that didn't get hit. I'm so unused to having less than 10 HP. This is so weird. Okay, 13 to hit. And then plus 2 for raging. Okay. Oh, thank if you, Barbarian. Hits. Thank you. Oh yeah, it hits. Save us all. Okay. I'm just gonna try to make a lot of noise when I'm doing it. I'm just gonna shout and stab to try to draw attention to me. Raggle, fraggle. Sure. Yes, two to the damage. It... Oh my god. Okay. So it um, this the exact same thing that happened to Sparrow happens as you impale it. It looks like it's getting ready to dissipate, and all of a sudden it starts reforming itself. Oh, it's got like a death saving throw or something. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. shit. Yes, they do. Man. All right. <sighs> this one is prone, uh, so it's going to take a little bit to pull itself up uh, and look at you very menacingly. And then it's <laughs> your turn. <laughs> Don't stand up. I'm going to stab that one. Oh, you're alive? Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you, God. Is so, it drive advantage on that one? Because it hasn't attacked or been attacked yet. You are correct. Okay. Going to hit that one for seven. I'm gonna swing around the shield and try to knock the other one prone. Oh, try to. Okay, you're trying to knock the white background one down again. No, I'm knocking the other one down this time. Okay. I, I was attacking the white background one. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so that is seven. You actually kill it. Oh, your your God. your appear goes through its neck and into the shoulder, and with a a higher pitched low rumble, it dissipates. All right. Now that that guy's down, uh, and I I don't think he has the the roll to pull this one off, but we'll see. Nope. Yep. He falls over too. He's prone. All right. Can I skirt? between these two like that I go um, through his yeah this one I believe yeah you will take one attack of opportunity though alright alright because that's a hit yes yes it is kill them all I believe that is a four damage, five damage. Right. Okay. I'm just happy I got the beast of crit and stay standing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll your death saving throw. 
it's gonna slide. And I'll be praying for you. That's one. Okay, yep, yeah, that's one fail. Uh, we pop back up to the top. Sparrow, make your throw. It's a fail. Okay. Athalia. Lexi, uh, don't you, do you get heal spells yet? <laughs> she has two heal spells. Uh, now, Lexi, how healing works in the game? is if you give them any type of health points, it will raise them from zero and put them back up on their feet. Okay, but I can only do one D8, John. I mean, Th that is really better than nothing at this most point. Most of us only have eight max HP. This Lex, is I have 11. You can give me over a half. <laughs> yeah. Yep, you'll, oh, okay. Yep, you'll do, you'll do super well. <laughs> Because if you can get me up, I've got lay on hands. I can get the other two up. I, I, have, a, I have a potion. Eight points. Nice. So, yeah. Nice. nice. Woo. Hey, hey, hey. John's <laughs> not dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, do I take off that death save failure? Or... Yep, take it off. It stays. Ooh. Oh, it stays? Never mind. It does? Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will double check. Um, but... We will keep it going. So, Fali, right, would you like to do matter. anything else with I, your turn? I will look in the book as well. Can I do anything else with my turn? Well, you made an action, so you still have a movement. I'm good where I am. That okay. one enough turn to move. All right. So that would be this one. Uh, he's going to turn around and take a swipe at the... Uh, How are you blocking it? Oh, As it literally just turns the, around. Just gonna boot to the face. <laughs> yeah. Boot to the head. It's like, ha, ha, ha. You know, like a really short person when they're trying to hit you and you just kind of arm at length, doing that, but with a foot. Okay. Um, so that gets blocked. Um, yeah, this one's yeah. gonna pick itself back up. And not do anything else. Uh, and then Othrix. Roll again. Okay. <sighs> it's roll. Oh, crap. I did that wrong. Sorry. Forward slash R space yep. 1d20. Got it. Oh, thank God. Okay. There's your save. So I check off the one success, right? <laughs> Got it. Alright, next shadow. I'm going to move over here. Alright. palace. It, it's a fucking monster mash over here. Oh my god, it and, literally uh, falls uh, and trips over Othrix's <laughs> <laughs> currently <laughs> unconscious body. And it is prone in front of you. <laughs> the tail saves the day. Uh, this shadow uh, currently has a pike through it, so it's going to take a swipe at Bia 2. I give it the finger to the back of its head. Does not go through. Oh, I assume you just push it further back on your pike. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, you're a wily bastard. Get away from me. <laughs> uh, in which case, it's your turn. Oh, good. I'm going to stab him again. Or rather, I'm just going to pick up the pike and bang him into the ground. Nice. I like I that. I got it. Okay. So, for death saving, saving throws, the creature needs to stabilize. So, you either need to have three successful death saving throws and you stabilize. And then all death saving throws are, like, expunged. Or you administer first aid and then they stabilize, but they still need to be healed to reach one HP. I think that hits. Oh yeah, just a little bit. You killed it straight up by smashing into the ground. There's a low rumble, and it just just coalesces into a puddle. Okay. Ring, ring, go away. And that's your turn, Hallis. Your turn. Now stab the ones down so you get advantage. Yes, you do. <laughs> 
13 damage. I believe that kills it. All right. Nice. So, how are you killing it? I'm just gonna, as it's already down, I'm just gonna like turn my sword over and just just stab it in the back of the head. Nice. Uh, um, very solid movement. Yeah. Um, so, come back. Okay. Could I move to where the other two down parties member were and get them both with a lay on hands, or just one of them? Um, you will take a uh, an attack of opportunity, but I'm going to give it, give it disadvantage because there's literally two other members of the party giving it busy at the moment. All right, but can I, so I can get both of them? Split my points uh, two two. Keep one in reserve for another one going mean? down. What do you mean two? I'm there too, Sarge. Three. Yeah. Yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot diagonals. Um, I'm sorry. Dingus. You no lay on hands is one, one person and one action. All right, Arthrix has been down longer, so I will move right here and kind of grab him, lay on hands, and pick him up. Take two points, Josh. Oh, thank God. Just so... okay, and up. Oh. <sighs> um, none. Of, neither. Of, uh, it's oh, not neither. Sorry, no, the, neither of those are gonna hit. hit. Yeah. yeah. You're tougher than you look. <laughs> Run away! I didn't study, I didn't... Wait, what? <laughs> You're alive again. Oh. oh. You'll see that his shoulder is still kind of bleeding over the armor. Uh, Sparrow? Rolling. I'm on net 20. Okay, where am I? Great. That's not helping. <laughs> A saved. Got a save. A saved. I am one in one, and it is the bottom of the night. Uh, the black uh, the blacksmith is going to continue trying to attack. Wait, the blacksmith? Yeah. That's what it says. Oh shoot! This just took a turn for the sad. It's, Jesus, that doesn't hit either. <laughs> What's your AC? Me. Me. No, BF. Fifteen. <laughs> It's just, it's ineffectually swiping at you. It's like... They're almost kind of cute. You can't have one, Redwood. Oh, wait, I'm unconscious. <laughs> All right, that. Harris. Taking one from the behind. As we get flunked. And it is ineffectual as normal. Althrix. <laughs> okay. Um, would taking a healing potion would be an action, right? I would be able to attack. You're correct. Um, however, actually, I think it might be a bonus. I think. Um, however, you can also feed it to somebody. Okay. Um, who is down? Sparrow. Me. Okay. I'm going to see her, and. I'm going to move over to her. And I'm at first I take it out of my pouch and I'm about to drink it, but then I look over and see her. Look at the bottle. Look at her. Look at the bottle. Look at the bottle. Look at the bottle. <laughs> Run over to her and just shove it in her mouth. Okay. Uh go you should be able to just click on it. Um yeah. I believe it does. Hopefully. 1D4, 1D6 of healing. I Forget. Is that a base healing potion? Yeah, it's just yeah. regular healing potion. One. And it's 1d4 plus 4 or 2d4 plus 4? Out. Oh, yep. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> okay, hang on. Sensation options. Nope. Uh, potion, 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 potion. Bombs. I want equipment. I don't know why I thought it was equal to the caster level. Am I thinking three five? I think that's three five. Pathfinder. Yeah. The, oh, no. Yeah. You're, that thinking, is you're thinking Pathfinder. Potion, I've never potion, played potion, Pathfinder. Potion, 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 potion. <laughs> All the weirder. Potion of healing. Hmm. Character who drinks the magical wood fluid in this vial regains two d four plus two hit points. Two d four plus four. Dang. Drinking or administering takes an action. 
Okay, whatever. 2d4 plus 4, you said? 2d4 plus 2. Plus two. Oh. <clears throat> 5. Okay. Close enough. There you go. She kind of chokes and coughs and sputters because there's cloth and bottle and liquid in her mouth and she doesn't really know how it got there. And essentially you're being like cradled by <laughs> a just like, uh, just like <coughs> You're being cradled by a giant dragonborn at this point. <laughs> With a drow kind of standing off to the side. She freezes for a minute because she doesn't recognize you for half a second. And then just kind of blink and relax for a minute. Welcome back to the land of the living. Try not to die again. <laughs> again. <laughs> and she 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 kind of blindly reaches up and flicks wherever she can reach on the dragon board. Right, because you're one to talk. Yeah, that'd be a snout. Okay. <laughs> that would be Bia's turn. She booped the snoot. I'm going to stab it. I'm going to stab it. Stab it hard. Shank that bitch. I'm just going to literally hit it as hard as I can. I am punching your salad! (laughs) (laughs) There was something on your face! Alright, how do you want to kill it? I am just going to use the pike and kind of just toss it into the fountain against what I assume is a statue in the middle of the fountain. You are correct. I would like to pick it up and toss it. Points if there is a pointy fake sword on the statue in the fountain, and I can impale it on that. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. <laughs> it's the penis. God. Oh Jesus! It's the the, the sword of David. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's that what so they're calling small. it nowadays. I thought it was a, more of a dagger, but I'm about to say that was a really small sword uh, in that case. That's a short. Sword. Maddie, go ahead and take inspiration for that. That's, that's a clever way of killing something. Yay. <laughs> Uh, Hallis, go ahead. Oh, man. Step of time. Step of time. Step time. All right. Live after step. that. It's getting a fucking shield to the face. Okay. Well, let's see if it does. Holy crap. Okay. It's the same thing that happened to the other ones you, you stab it right in the face like right from the chin all the way up through the head and it starts to to decompress and 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 start to to, to form into the puddle and there's a little rumbling and it starts to reform itself who would have thunk the, the barbarian and the paladin doing the most damage man that's weird barbarian and fighter the paladin's fighter. been busy he- keeping the down people up thank you <laughs> And has been down himself. Yes. To be fair, the bard did help out a lot with that chain of events. Yes, he did. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, bard. Thank you, bard. Never bad mouth the bard. Everybody owes me money. <laughs> Everybody say <laughs> thank you to the bard. Thank, thank you, bard. bard. Thank you, Somebody bard. owes me money. <laughs> <laughs> Authric, you'll have to settle for a drink. Authric disappears. Okay. Don't All right. Yeah, You're there's welcome, not. Bard. It is. It is not beating that athletics check. Uh, Varus, go ahead. It is prone. Varus is going to look back to the one shadow still up. Come back like come back around the corner. Uh, right about uh, here. Okay. And I can't draw my light crossbow and shoot it, can I? Not with I think that's moved. a disadvantage, honestly. It's also on prone, so it's always a disadvantage for oh, well, then, le- yep. then let oh. us out. Then. Well, in oh, that man. case, I'm just going to have all four of the lights just crash right on top of it. <laughs> okay. I don't know if we can get double disadvantage, but we're certainly going to fucking try. Well, here's the thing. When the four lights come together, it creates one medium humanoid-shaped light. <laughs> David Bowie? Can I, just, can I just like the fact that the drow has light magic? <laughs> just want to put that up there. <laughs> I this hurts know. me, but I know how to do it. Ow, ow, Hashtag ow, 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 not ow, your normal drow. Ow, 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 <laughs> no, ow, no, I'm your normal drow. All drow get light magic. Huh. <laughs> and fairy fire and stupid yep. shit like that. That's yep. interesting. Combating the vitamin D deficiency one cantrip at a time. <laughs> They're black, right, they don't need Sparrow. it. Me. You um, will stand up. Well, you were prone, so isn't that an action to stand up? You dropped no, me on my ass. <laughs> it's half your movement. Okay, no so, okay. 
I guess I'm gonna stand up and. Deadass. <laughs> Excuse me. And never mind. I don't understand you. He's talking dragon, uh, drag draconic right now. You don't understand thing. <laughs> she still reaches up and flicks your snoot, anyways. Again. She can do that. And here. And I'm guessing he's just out of the line of sight. Well, let's use the ruler and find out. No. He's inside. <laughs> I'm a ping him. Ouch. Is that that one? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't get lower than that, so... Oof. Okay. Um, you you are about to fire, and... Uh, I sneeze because of all the this? pooping. No. Athalia uh, just barely moves into the way, so you have to pull back just before you fire, and it ricochets off of the statue. Speaking of, it's her turn. <laughs> you know, stab it! Stab it in the face! Thanks, the, John. The answer to all life's problems. And stab it in the motherfucking and, face. And to be fair, you can't be mad at her because you're firing around a building. She had no idea you were there. <laughs> Damn it, Bard! And as far as she knew, we were all unconscious. You know, <laughs> by, by chain of events, that bard made it so you were saved. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know that. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> She'll figure it out eventually, but right now she doesn't know that. In She'll the, be very sad when she figures that out. Uh, eight to hit. All eight. right. You should have had advantage on that one, too, so... Oh, prone. did I? Yep, because it's prone. That's all right, all right just roll right. another 1d20. Forward slash R space 1d20. Slash R space one D20. Mm -hmm. yep. yep, that's the roll command. Yes. All right, well, <laughs> that was the better hit. It does hit. It's How would you like to deliver the final blow? Ah. Oh. Um, I don't know. Just stab it in the face. Yeah. 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 And I'm up I'm gonna now. walk up to Sparrow and inspect for battle wounds. Hey, Mildly Redwood. Uh, Hi, Redwood. He heading over to Athlea and just <sighs> big old bear hug like, that uh, is how you do it. Told you you knew what you were doing. I'm just... Uh, yeah, I just think this means we're even now. I'm just looking over Sparrow to make sure she's not bleeding profusely anywhere. Just kind of... She's got a couple of she's got a couple of sluggishly bleeding things, but nothing like terribly life threatening. And she just kind of looks up at she looks up at Bian. Just you're gonna hold this over my head for a long. Show. I'm not that likely to do it. Are you got she she can that conversation even, be heard? Even yes. behind even behind the cowl, you get the look. <laughs> <laughs> just one of those complete deadpan stares. That is a audible conversation, as I am not quiet. Question. Did those shadows leave behind anything when they, they did fell? not? Damn, wow. Um, Sarge, knowledge, yes, religion, maybe? Or insight to what the hell those things were? Insight is more of an interpretation of people. Like, ah, what's going right. on behind them. Uh, but you can roll religion if you would like. Uh, Hallis, how are you reacting to it? Checking out this dead body. Yeah, I'm going over there too. Okay. Seventeen. Um, oh I I'm gonna roll a. Okay. Oh gosh, can I roll so an Arcana check to see? You certainly can. Okay. Specifically. Uh, 
the lights are still going. They're sort of creating a little box perimeter around us at this point. Okay. Just concentration. Anything yep. to do with coal? Anything to do with cult coal? Anything? Anything? DM? No. <laughs> <laughs> no advantage for you. Ah, uh, well, 10. Okay. okay. All right, so we'll go with the religion check. There's, um, you do see that the, uh, the traveler in front of you, uh, was from, um, is, is a, uh, at least a follower of Kalim, uh, the god of challenge in nature. Um, he carry, doesn't carry a lot of stuff on him. It's the bare essentials. Uh, but you do see the, the pendant around his neck. That's basically a triangle made out of sticks, but the, the bottoms of the triangle continue out almost like a cross. Mm. Um, it looks very, most of them are very rough and hewn. None of them are manufactured. Um, it looks like this guy made it out of a series of switches. Um, but again, there's nothing outstanding about him. Um, what a follower of Kalim is doing out here, you're not entirely sure. Um, but you're pretty sure after looking uh, between the three of you investigating him, there's not a trace of blight on him. Like none whatsoever. Mm. Nope, not blight. And now this is just one person in a whole town, but yes. <laughs> well, a small uh, just a trading post. But this gentleman uh, has, was not blighted. What small, small town, miracles? Slowly. What what god did you say he was a follower of? Kalim, K A L M. I, K A L I M, I think. Uh, the god of nature and challenges. Hmm. Okay. Not blighted. And nothing. nothing a Clemenite in a city and strung up. Um, as far as Arcana check goes, you're not, um, not really sensing anything. Yeah, the, the you can kind of like as you kind of piece it together, this place should have like a small potion shop somewhere. Oh. Um, probably one of the market stalls or the carts you would investigate into. And Is there um, anyone I start doing still around? Hold, I need... hold on. Sorry. It's alright. Um, you'll probably be able to find a cart with two health potions in it. Woo! Um, yeah. Varys, go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, after identifying that, I'm gonna just look around. Are there any lights on in the town at all? Nope. No sounds? No nothing? Nope. Well, um, look at her saying that. Varys is just going to stand up and in his loudest voice, if there's anyone alive, come out now! Hallis, this interrupts your investigation a little bit. <laughs> uh, but the natural 20 means that you can continue to look at the body. Um, it's very interesting how there are no actual, like, tear marks. It's like something sliced clean through the flesh. From from the top of from the very back to the very front, it's almost like if somebody took like a hot, um, like a, a sword fresh out of the forge and just pressed it through the flesh. Um, Makes good bacon. But there's no there's no heat, there's no scarring or bubbles or anything like that. It's just a couple proficiency, pretty much. Huh. Um, so anyway, sorry. continue. Yep, Ferris. Um, I'm gonna take the four lights. Mm -hmm. Have them fly up over the statue a little bit and combine it to the larger light. Okay. Sort of trying to cast a glow on the area. All right. High up enough that it might be able to be seen by anyone who's at the outskirts of the town. Okay. Can do. Uh, Sparrow and Al uh, Athalia, what are you guys doing? Riding a motorcycle away, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go on, investigate along, like, the through here, this area, like, over here. Okay. The edges and areas of town. Just kind of poke my nose around, see what do I can you, find. Do you want to do that by yourself? After just being attacked? Want some company? Yeah. Let's go. I'll go with you. Check it out. I'm... If, if the mountain's going with you, I think... Uh... <laughs> the mountain. <laughs> Female mountain. That's so a new one. We go, like, over this way. Death by snooze. Okay. Uh, Thalia, what would you I've like? I've heard to... that one before. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna come down here and just like explore. Okay. 
Um, not there, really uh, away from anybody. Is there like a central guard post, or I mean, this is just a little trade post. So there's like, yep. is there a central building? Um, you would be able to determine that the building that you're next to is kind of like the security small sheriff's area. Uh, very small. There's basically like one cell in it, just in case somebody needs to sleep drunk in this off for the night. Um, but pretty much what the map is is just about how big this place actually right. is. There's I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna whistle over to Orth, uh, Orthex. Oi, over here. I I, I trot over. Okay. Can I take Open a look around for a target? Okay. So we'll go back to Sparrow real quick. Um, Sparrow, you're rolling an investigation up there? Yep. Okay. Um, you do see in one of the... Um, you both walk into one of the houses. Uh, the door is unlocked and ajar. Um, and there's a trail of blood that runs from um, the front of the door into the darkness of the area back there. Um <laughs> It is not the normal consistency of blood. Um, at least Bia, you would probably be able to tell that. It is far too dark. Hmm. Um, would you guys like to continue in? Sparrow kind of shakes her head and stumbles backwards a little bit with her hand over like where her be, just getting a little bit of pale and a little shaky. And she sees the darker color. Everything all right. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll uh, I'll stay out here. You holler if you need me, okay? All right, I'm gonna go explore and see if I can find something tasty. Oh, I'm walking inside and look around. <laughs> I don't want to know what okay. you're gonna find tasty in there. Um, it's bad. There are. Uh, it basically walks right into kind of the living space. Uh, you can see a couple beds in the far back corner, um, the living hearth area, um, some storage. Um, and you can see a few body parts chilling out behind the bed. Just chilling. Um, that's directly where the trail of blood leads to. Um, there are enough conspicuous body parts that you know it's not one person. Um However, you do notice that there are a, uh, a separate set of footprints that lead off into a small side area. Would you like to go investigate? I listen really closely to see if I can hear that rumbling noise the, the shadows seem to make first. It is absent. I will walk into the little side area. And on the floor, uh, hunched over with his head hanging low, there's a gentleman with large black veins all over his arms, head, and legs. Kill him. Kill him now. I'm going to point a pike at him and kind of just... <clears throat> <clears throat> Nothing. I'm going to calmly walk out of the room, shut the front door, <laughs> and turn to Sparrow and say, perhaps the others should uh, think I found some one thing. Maybe someone only. or thing, not sure which. All right, Might have Hallis, Corey. we're going to go to the next part of it. Hallis and Athalia, are you guys just kind of poking your noses around? Yeah, unless she's doing something else. Lexi, you're muted, by the way. Oh, John told me to mute, and I forgot I was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just doing shit like looking around okay um the building do you guys want to investigate the building you're next to sure why the hell not okay um it seems to be a small a a small shrine to freldnan uh the god of mercantilism yeah makes sense it is um you can see a, a gold bowl with a few gold pieces in it um there is a a silver washed uh sigil of his sitting above the bowl um, just a few steps up to it. It's, it's a super small shrine. Uh, it's almost like there's nobody that actually take cares, takes care of it. Or is anyone in the else having a, prob a problem hearing Sarge? No. 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 Okay, because he got all sorts of stop start for me. There. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Is it better now? Mucho. Yes. Check no. Yes. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's. Can you hear me um, now? <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me now? Good. Um, he defected. It, it, you see uh, a body or two 
laying there. Um, there's that same dark blood um, kind of around, but upon a little bit closer investigation, there's no black lines on any of them. They're not. There's no sign of them being blighted, but there's those same marks that you found on the guy in the, the fountain. Those clean through like something melted it without heat. Okay. Now, if you guys want to, are either of you particularly religious? Nope. No. Really. <laughs> okay. You're funny. Well, there's there's a bowl of gold coins. Just kind of chill in there. Well, I mean, she is, but not for not for that kind. Not for <laughs> I'd say there's a difference between religious and superstitious. <laughs> I was gonna say superstitious. Yes, bad luck to steal from the temple. <laughs> I mean, she probably would, just because, hey, look, something shiny and I want it, but... Okay, well, what do you guys want to do with it? So I'm gonna it. leave it there. Okay. Come on, bud. Put it in the Vengeance Trust Fund. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's shiny! Why uh, did you take Ophrix it? and Varus. Yarn. You guys are investigating the uh, little security... Yes. Um, C. Okay. So you guys will walk into it. Uh, do you want to take it cautiously? Cautiously. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sword and rapier at the ready, and Othrix right behind you. Uh, I've got, you a, I've got a dagger in hand, and you kind of hear me inhale with a little bit of a gurgling sound, so just be aware of that. Go I'm going to look over at him. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay, bud? Just move out of the you okay, way. You okay, this spell scale? Just move out of the way and I'm not sure you. Right. <laughs> Just shield up on the balls of my feet. Okay. Okay. So as you guys yeah. walk in, um, it's basically a table. Uh, a few keys hanging on the wall. Some various notes scribbled on parchment laying around. It looks like you know somebody was obviously using this place as some sort of a like a command center almost. Um, it's a small trade town. You don't need to be super, you know, on the ball here. Um, the cage is closed, um, but it looks like the person that was in there uh, is suffered the same fate of the dude in the fountain. Um, the table has the chair behind it knocked over with a pair of legs sitting on the table as though that person had their legs thrown up and on top of the table. And that's when you realize that that is all that remains of that particular person. Oh god, it's like Jurassic Park thing. Okay. Um, um, and Dark Blood is all over the place. I am going to swallow whatever whatever was in my mouth for that moment, because obviously there's nothing in there. And uh -huh. I'm going to start looking at the papers on the table to see if uh, what they say. Okay. Um, make me an investigation roll, please. Oh dear. Oh dearie dear. Oh dearie do. Let's see how this goes. Okay, it's not too bad there. It's okay. It's okay. John, what would you like to do? Uh, say that one more time, please. What would you like to do? Um, what did he see going in? Sorry, I got I completely brain farted there for Josh, a second. Go ahead and explain. So just so I don't cut out. Okay, no, it's fine. Uh, we go in. We see what looks like a guard that had been propped up with his legs on the table, except there's no guard, only legs. Lots of black blood around. Uh, whoever was in the cell, there's only one person in the cell, door's locked, but it looks like he met the same fate as the guy by the fountain. So, like, chunks ripped out, like, with a carving scalpel. And there's a bunch of, like, oh, papers on the table, and I've started kind of looking at the papers after swallowing whatever was in my mouth. Alright. Um, I'm, you know, I'm gonna check any other rooms, just sort of peer around, looking for bodies, survivors, anything. I think it's one room, with just like a jail ah, cell. If it's just one room, um, medicine check to maybe take a look at the fuck happened to this guy? Absolutely. Cool. Okay, so while you roll that, the investigation, um, you were, there are a couple notes on kind of comings and goings, it looks more like a ledger. Yeah. Um, you notice that, um, the native dragonborn tribe had visited a few weeks prior. Um, and an orc tribe had visited a couple days ago. Um, there were no notes. They left without uh, without any type of brawl occurring. And you see in the scribble, this time, thank God. Um, yeah. 
or whatever god he prays to would have to come up with one on the fly <laughs> you know bless the gods um, yeah thank the gods uh they didn't cause a ruckus this time um because once the orcs go mad that's it there's very little that that one person can do they just have to rebuild um so you do notice that there was a a notation um of the gentleman in question coming into the city um what? they gave him the the blighted gentleman um, oh yes there is a notation on it and that's the last notation how, uh, you how do long say ago was that, that there uh yesterday oh oh no okay sorry continue so back to be a I'm sorry I do see what 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 was that after I interrupted uh you do see a notation yeah uh that the gentleman was there in the city the day or the town the day before okay got it the blighted guy I'm so, just gonna turn to Sparrow and be like, fudge. "You, you best go squawk to the others and let them know to get here right quick." I think the blighted man was here, but he's probably not here anymore. I'm on it. Stay here and keep your guard up. Yeah, I'm gonna step back in the house and close the door behind me and just have a pike pointed at where the guy was earlier. Okay. I'm gonna run this way. Do, 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 do. And run. Hello? Guys, where'd you go? Hey! Over yeah. here! I, I hear her and go out. Go outside. Guys! Redwood found someone. Some, oh, someone? Good. Right. A survivor? I don't know. She wouldn't tell me. I didn't go in the house. Well, that doesn't go well. Let's go. Come on. I run off the way okay. that I need to. Does everybody follow? Yeah, I guess yep. so. Yeah. You. Excellent. Okay. Bia, everybody's there. What do you tell them? I tap I... on the door. Redwood, let us in. I let him in and I go, I'm not sure if it's someone or something. Well, I, I let everyone else go and I just kind of stay outside the house because thank you. <laughs> also hold your noses. <laughs> okay. So you guys move forward, and uh, the ghastly scene reveals itself. Just a guy sitting there, kind of head in hands with, like, black veins? Oh, no, he's his head is slumped. Oh. His, his hands are on the floor, his head is slumped toward his chest, and he is just in the corner. Uh, you also have the various body parts behind the bed, um, hiding probably what you don't want to see. Uh, but otherwise, it's just a lot of blood in a normal house. So no, right. yeah. slowly approach, I guess. Okay. Uh, no reaction from the gentleman. And this is the gentleman. Does he match the description of the gentleman we've been sent to find? Yes. Oh shit. Hey, you. Uh, his name is Blast. I'm sorry, Blast. Hard cheeks. Uh, just <laughs> Blast. B l a s, not Blast. <laughs> <laughs> Blaz a gist. Big, Are you Blaz a gist? No response. Gonna tap him with the rapier on like the, the shoulder. Okay. Um, the head kind of slumps toward that shoulder. He's very clearly dead. Oh. Ah. But I don't think he's turned. alive. But he hasn't turned into a shadow yet. Why has he not turned into a shadow when everything else in this town has? How do you know how somebody turns into a shadow? We don't! Kef, kef. I really find it difficult to believe that the guy who sent us on this would not give us any kind of information on what we face. Yeah. There is no information. Uh, except for Blighted. Um, sorry, I'm thinking shadows for some reason. No, the, the Blighted themselves, uh, they just die. Oh. The shadows basically leech themselves out of any wounds or open orifices. When they are dead and completely passed and the shadow is out of them, uh, they have no eyes left. Does he have eyes left? I'll look for the eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah push him over. Yep, his eyes are dead. 
they are completely gone. Oh, so it's like a chest burster from... Kinda. Okay, so basically the alien is somewhere else. We just have the husk. Great. Yes. Um, you did fight a bunch of shadows. Yes, we did. Uh, there goes our lead. <sighs> Fudge. Would anybody like to search the body? Yes, I would love to. Okay. <laughs> um, you find a few gold pieces. Um, the gentleman was... Uh, you, you look down at his shoes. They are worn to shit. The man uh, has been putting some serious miles on these shoes. Um, if you remember correctly from what Drax said, uh, the person was seen fleeing on foot. Damn. So he's either walked from Piatur or somebody tore up his shoes after he died. I'm guessing um, former. Working on this dust. The, the veins have completely encapsulated uh, every, almost every inch of the skin. Um, however, his pouch holds a letter. A sealed letter. Ooh. He left a diary. Not really a letter. Anyone want to read it? I sure. have I have skills in that. I I would hope most of us can read. <laughs> uh so when you are you obviously you guys are gonna open it and read it? Yes. Okay. So this is basically this guy's last will and testament. Um he was trying to get it to a postal area before he turned. Um it's a letter to his wife, um, who lives back in uh Alicia. Actually, um, Grieve, uh, yes. give me a... Just roll a d20 for me. Oh, boy. Where are my other languages? I should have four languages. Shit. A flat ten. All right. Ooh, that's like right on the line. Um, <laughs> you You might know... You you thought the last name was familiar. Um, you're pretty sure you know somebody else by that last name. Just passing mention. It's it's kind of tickling the back of your head. Um, so somewhere in Alicia. Um, so this gentleman's trying to send a letter back to him, and basically it's detailing what exactly happened at Piantor. He was apparently right outside of the city when it happened. And as you guys keep reading, you realize that this is the only first-person account of an Ashfall. Oh. Kitty. He That's was working at a lumber mill, uh, at, a, at a lumber store yard, directly outside of the city. And when it hit, he was about 100 feet away. Uh, and basically detailed everything. Um, this, this Basically, this black bubble encompassed the whole city. And hummed with that with some otherworldly frequency, and once the bubble fell, everything was muted gray, gray colors, everything. Like just a bubble he, out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, so he tread in the city. Uh, he was concerned for um, his friends that he had made there. Um, he was basically a um, was brought in. Uh, in order to find some wood for a craftsperson in Elysium. Uh, and Pietor had some good quality wood that he wanted. And this is like high quality craftsmanship. It's not a, oh, you can just use any wood. It's like, no, it has to be a very particular type. And Pietor had this type. So he was there investigating it. Um, and went in to go figure out what happened. And he describes in detail, and this is several sheets of paper. Um, he goes into detail about the clay figures themselves. Um, the the blackness oozing out of it to create these shadows, um, the way that the ash normally occurs. So you know it's a legitimate revelation. He describes everything that people know of the ash fall now. But what changed is the fact that there were people still alive after the ash fall. Oh no! He describes oh, that there were three people in some sort of crystal chamber. What? And they were frozen. There's he tried to tap on it, get their attention, break it, nothing worked. Like three people the in only, one crystal thing. 
in one like basically a sphere crystal okay, like sorry. they were frozen and think like one of those spherical paperweights got it got it got it um but they're all three of them are frozen in time and there were two uh seemingly there were uh two people in armor uh he can only assume that they were the guard and there was the priest of um i'm sorry four people my apologies i forgot somebody two guards there was the local priest of um the the goddess of dreams what is her name give me a second bringing it up um uh Calm, K A L N. Um, there was a priest of calm holding his sigil in his hand uh, over a priest of um, of Kalim. And did we just lose someone? Yeah, we're losing. Oh, yeah. Maddie okay? Oh, she's trying to hear. Uh... Lost connection. Huh. Huh. Huh? There she is. Sorry, it glitched huh. out. No, that's all right. What, how, what'd you last hear? Crystal people, paperweight. Okay. Mm, armor. Good. Um, yep, so two two guards, a priest of... Um, Sel- uh, not Celstris, sorry. A priest of uh, Kaln, K-A-L-N, the goddess of sleep and prophecy, and a priest of Kalim. And the priest of Kaln is holding his sigil up almost as a guardian. Um, He doesn't know what he saw. Um, He said that he knows that no other account like this has been created, and he was trying desperately to get this letter out. Um, But people kept throwing him out. They wouldn't even touch him because he was blighted. Um, And he finally got here. uh, And he said that, I hope that I can get this out in time. And that's the end of the letter. The shadows chased him out of the city. He couldn't do anything further because they had started to surround him. Hmm. <laughs> so, you guys have your first overall account of an ashfall. You can do a quick search of the town. Um, it's not going to reveal much else. Maybe some food if you guys want to eat it. Um, You can set camp if you would like, um, but the scene is the same in almost every house. Um, There is at least one person dead in all of them. I'm going to search for any any spare coinage around. Um, You guys could probably pull together about 10 to 15 coins. Um, As a group, are you going to 10 10 coins a piece? Okay. 10 gold Um, pieces? 10 gold pieces a piece. Um, if you want to pilfer the Freldman shrine, nope. <laughs> I will smack anyone that tries. I, I, <laughs> I've seen okay. some shit. Well, we're gonna end here for the night. Woo. Um, do you guys want to go back to the wagon and set up camp? Yes, I am not Probably a good in idea. Most no. assuredly. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. Yeah, no, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. She's, she's still pretty. She's artist? still really freaking pale. <laughs> not me. I can write. Kind of well. shaky. What was that, Bia? I was gonna ask if anyone in the party was a good enough artist to get a sketch of the dead dude in the fountain, in case this is a thematic thing with lots of dead people. I think we've oh, seen enough God. of it to be able to recount from memory. Because <laughs> yeah. this is this is the first actual combat some of you have faced. Mm. Uh, memories. Okay. So how are got... those of us who are in that situation doing? Yeah. By the way, how is everybody doing? This is most likely your first encounter with an actual shadow. I uh, I'm having like some Vietnam era flashbacks right now. I have no idea what Vietnam is, what these images are, but I'm having them. Um can you roll me a uh, um Try to convince yourself out of it. Give me a roll. Okay. Um, uh, the second wave uh, immigration happened from between 1420 to 14... I start reciting, like, basically history book information. Okay. So you're trying to distract yourself from what you just saw and experienced. Exactly. I, I am doing flashcards okay, in my head. Roll me a history check, then. Cool. Who else? 
Uh, okay. Sparrow's shaky from the combat, but the blood is making it worse. Like seeing all the blood in, in the different houses and stuff is making it a lot worse than it would be. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Uh, how would fight. you? How would you? I was about to say, how is everybody kind of pulling themselves through it? And this the, is going to be uh, a roll because if really uncomfortable, but trying to pretend to be as calm as possible, but she's got the rope beads and she's just going through the the circular motion. Okay. Really white knuckling it. All right. So more of a persuasion to try and get everybody to figure to to not see that you're. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Persuasion? Okay. Yep. We're only, it should be persuasion or hold on. Just bringing up a sheet real quick. Just so I can see. Run yep. Persuasion. The jungle. Gotta run through um, the jungle. Sparrow, what would you like to roll to kind of pull yourself together? Um, mm, probably deception because she's trying to hide it from pretty much everybody. Okay. Um, she I'll doesn't. Follow. These these outside of uh, Orthix and Bea, she doesn't know these people, and that that could be a weakness that could be exploited against her. Okay. Later on. So. All right. Roll me deception. Athalia, how would how are you dealing with it? Uh, what uh. deception? Hey, DM. Um, One second. The ice router did not appear onto the main continent you, you until. You can go 12th. ahead and talk to other people. My computer's derping out. Okay. Uh, what's up, Manny? I was gonna say, I can. that's a re-roll I can give to anybody once a day with my item? Yes. Can I, since the session's almost over, can I give it to Sparrow? You can. Oh. Hey, cool. uh, hey Sparrow, wanna roll with advantage? How would Not you... Advantage. How would I'm, you I'm kind of describe that? On I'm just gonna walk up and put a big kind of mitt on her shoulder just as a steady sort of distraction thing like a ground under your fingers you can you can literally even through her armor you can feel how bad her body is shaking maybe kind of put your large frame in front of her to you know give her a little privacy yeah, pretty much okay all right yeah go ahead and re-roll um it wasn't Varys. slightly day. better <laughs> sorry she skipped me oh you said i'm sorry go ahead um i was thinking maybe performance because I can pretend it's not bothering me. Okay. Yeah, you are used to putting on a face for acts and plays and stuff. Fake it till you make it. Okay. Hashtag color guard. Varys? No business like show business. I assume this is either your first major combat or your first encounter with shadows, right? John? Yeah. Um, shadows, definitely. Okay. I mean, he's been around... Not a battle, but carnage like this before. Right. Rocks don't fall on people and not have anything happen. Truth. Um, the 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 guy we were here to find, mm -hmm. that we're still we're all sort of gathered around. Mm -hmm. Varys is kind of going to take a minute, uh, just sort of pull out he one of his other symbols of, oh god, what's her name? Shadal. Shadal. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to kind of get onto his knees in front of him and just start praying. Okay. Uh, roll me a religion check, then. See if you can remember all the rites. And Hallis, I saw you pacing around. <laughs> yeah, he's just kind of pacing. He's kind of... He's kind of, like, running his finger in a circle around this, uh, this button that's at, like, the very top of his collar. He's just kind of running his finger around it as he's kind of pacing around in circles okay um how would you what kind of check would you like to make then to kind of pull yourself together <sighs> athletics maybe because you know you are you're trying to pace it with activity mm. yeah i don't know what what is this against is it fear because He's, not so much uh, fear, because um, you you yourself are not scared, but this is, um, and you're used to fighting, but this is your first major encounter with a shadow. Um, and basically all the mythos is kind of crashing down around you, and it's like, oh shit, this is real. So it's not so much a fear condition, it's just I'm trying to, I'm thematically asking for a role to help role-playing a little bit. All right, yeah, I was just going to, I guess, walk it out. Okay, so make me an athletics check then. 
<laughs> okay. He power Shoot walks everybody. his way out of PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, everybody's pretty much... You, you manage to shake it off. There's no real ill effects. Um, the only person that seems to at least have... Uh, not repercussions. Um, Varys, you're you're stumbling through your rights. It's it's hard to remember it in in the and and to to put uh, a long traveler at rest um, when it just keeps flashing forward of all you know the actual carnage that these things have caused and these weird wounds. You do your best though, um, right. and you know that's all should all ask for. So um, confident that he will be you know carried through uh, his eternal travel. Um, you guys pack up and go make camp. Um, is there like a, like a small bit of water around somewhere that doesn't look contaminated? Um, yeah, there's water all over the place. There's, there's sealed sealed water skines in almost all the houses. There's He's just going to pick one up, kind of take back the hood, take the goggles off from it, open it, and just dump the whole thing on top of his head and shake out his head. <laughs> I, I like it. I take my flask out. And I hand it towards uh, uh, Hallis first, because I think he's closest. And offer it to Hallis. <laughs> he hear me out on this. Why not? After you get done in the tunnels pulling people out of cavens, you're covered in dust and whatever else. First thing you do, just get the nearest thing of water and just clean your face. Yeah. Just it makes, it makes the same sense. motions, whether there's sky or rock above you. Same motions. I like it. Okay. Unless anybody else has anything to add. And then I give a, the night. I give a, a, the flask to Sparrow as well. She's uh, kind of concentrated on herself. So she, she gives like a distracted shake of her head. Okay. Not really looking at you and sort of like kind of crowds a little bit closer to Bea. Not like a ton, but takes a fairly obvious step you see his... i'm gonna hold my hand out for the flask <laughs> okay you see you see his little like his crest fall a little bit at that but then he hands it over to her <laughs> come on little bird I, it'll do you good i i take a small amount of the flask i dump a little bit into my jar of icky flesh take a sip and then hand the flask back <laughs> <laughs> that oh my god it's like he he just He's abhor- he's abhorred at this because this is like top shelf brandy. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is yeah. Okay. Nobody sleeps well. Yeah. But you guys sleep. And that's the session. Yay. Congrats, Yay. I don't sleep. Around. I meditate. <laughs> you don't sleep. You the, wait. the the mental exercises that you guys do when you meditate are fleeting. It's it's hard to remember the motions. Congrats! What do you guys think? Jesus Christ! Oh, oh, my touch and go there. Oh touch my and go for a minute. I forgot how squishy I was. <laughs> was Not, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I didn't get hit once. Shut your face! <laughs> Yeah, it was fine. We can't all be seven foot tall Goliath women who are fucking badass as fuck, okay? Oh, we can't know, all just, do that. I'm sorry. I'm just I, enjoying this because earlier in the day I had a character get just wiped out, so I'm just enjoying being an impenetrable tank for no, once. You want to know why I, I was so excited for this this game? Because for that very reason, for the first time in 12 years of playing D&D, this is my first time casting Magic Missile as a player. That was my and the best time. part of it is, is you can legitimately say that you cast magic missile at the darkness. I did. I cast magic missile. At <laughs> oh the my darkness god! For the first I'm I'm happy I got the beast of crit. Keep standing. Uh, and I'm amazed the party's this cool with the drow. Like my I've my dwell, drow argument, before. at least uh, where Sparrow is concerned, is that she doesn't. Even with her mother being an elf, she doesn't understand much about elves in general. And so you being a drow literally means nothing to her. As far as she's concerned, you're just an elf with black skin, just like uh, Orthix is a dragonborn with black scales. True. And Orthrix has dealt with a drow before. I mean, honestly, he's in good trade relations with a bunch of them. So. Oh, you, you uh, noticed that this guy does, like, he's got a clear old mark on his skin that says run away. In, if you're familiar with drow languages. Nope. Ah. 
He's yeah, a very that, that would be. He's a very pretty <laughs> elf with black skin, though. It's a. Uh, it's elvish. Oh, never mind. It's, I understand uh, it's that. It's twisted elvish. Mm. Like it's. Uh, it's very. It's like reading a different dialect. If somebody had like chicken scratch. Oh, then never mind. Yes, I I understand it perfectly. Her eyes, yeah. her eyes go kind of cross trying to read it, but she might be able to figure it yeah. out. Uh, it, it, it says escape on his cheek. Um, he's... It looks a bit like a brand. Faded, but still there. I mean, he made a Tattoo. note He made a note of it in his journal, so it's there. I, I deal um, with pirates, okay. so drags so... are the least of my concern. Something I like to do at the end of each session is just kind of go through and uh, each player gives just kind of a highlight of what they thought was really cool about the session. We've already heard from a few of you, but let's just go through it again real quick and go from the top. Aaron? Oh, uh, I didn't study for this. Um, <laughs> Notes. I, I, I actually really liked our interaction that we weren't like all buddy, buddy from the get go. I kind of like that. There's some of that tension in the party just because it, it makes things a little bit more interesting because I've been part of parties where everyone's like, oh, we're all friends. Yay. Rainbows and sunshine and flowers and happiness. And those parties also tended to die very quickly. So I've kind of <laughs> ignored that. But I, I really do like that. I, I like that there's something for us to work off of. Like each of us has something to work off with with everybody in the party because that was kind of a concern of mine. But like. I think literally the only person I didn't interact with this time around much was Lexi, but I can fix that. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, we will fix that. We will fix um, that. Um, no. <laughs> I pull out my book. I've seen that symbol before. Where the fuck did you get that? Uh, I don't know. It just randomly appears when I need it. <laughs> Josh. Uh, I mean, I already said magic missile. That that mm -hmm. was a highlight. <laughs> um, <laughs> almost, I, honestly, I, I hate to say this, but almost dying the first the first oh, game in the first God. combat. That was actually exciting. I've not almost died in a D and D campaign in a long time, so that was actually that was actually a little bit nerve wracking, but it it, <laughs> it was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, Maddie. Well, I mean, it's really hard to toss up between fountain impaling of enemies on a dick, and just I really like that everyone in combat seemed to work towards a similar goal. Mm -hmm. Like everyone was kind of unconsciously working towards benefiting the whole group, which in the other D and D groups I've played with, that is normally not how things go, and then everybody dies, and then we're all sad. <laughs> all right, Lexi. Um, I guess I like that I got to actually save somebody and do something useful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lexi, that... you did kill two of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. seriously, you, you saved our bacon yeah, there at the crux. But I'm not supposed to kill things. <laughs> You're the MVP. No, yeah, I'm you are MVP of this game. And give you guys bonuses. <laughs> Time. Best bonus is called not dying. Yeah, um, yeah, yep, that is the best buff you can ever give somebody. <laughs> um, I've actually got two. One okay. is, goddamn, it's hard to be a racist drow and still be chaotic good. <laughs> uh, and yeah, just sort of, I, I, I like that I'm going to struggle playing this character. Okay. Anything about the game in particular that you enjoyed? Um, just the reaction to, well, uh, I, I'm here acting as an act of God. Everyone just sort of sh shifts away a little bit. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> and Garrett goes deeper in the book. Uh, hmm. I really liked the, how much, love how much role play there was. Cause that's kind of the opposite of my usual group. And that's one of those things that I'm like, I always miss not being able, I always miss being able to interact with all the people. You sort of being a dick to them. <laughs> that's my favorite part. Nice. <laughs> all right. Well, we will call it here. You guys have camped for the night. Cool. Um, I'm going to say this. If you ever want to see too much role playing, put Sarge and I in characters that get along. Oh, yep. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah.
I right. have the I have the feeling that uh, I have the feeling that Ohio Con is going to get very fucking interesting. You guys are dismissed. Have fun. I'll meet you guys. Uh, and... XP GM son, or is no, that not a thing right now? That is not a thing. I will be giving okay. you guys milestones. Cool. So whenever okay. you guys level up, I will say, "Yep, you guys level up." Um, I will kind of go through on my end and see if this does it, but I think it. I think it might. Just as okay. Awesome. <laughs> But I'll let you guys know. I'll throw it in chat later. So everybody say good night. <laughs> throw all the dicks. <laughs> all the dicks. <laughs> all of the dicks. I got to go back to my cell now. <laughs> all right. Arrow was. Help me. All right. Well, <laughs> good night. Was. Say goodbye to the stream, everybody. <laughs> good night. Bye. 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 <laughs>